I mean, when I say not that bad, I mean it's pretty decent um, figure. Well, and there's, uh, a, there's a there's a change of portrait which makes it not look quite as obnoxious. <laughs> smirk, so, got a smirk. Wait, the other one was like less of a resting bitch face. Oh my god, that's yeah. Funny. Well, I think so anyway. How much? So uh, yeah, and I mistakenly ordered two of these. So when it arrived today, I had two in the box. Mistakenly, ladies. it's not the first time in my life I've two in the box. Um, so mistake. Well, yeah, I mean, I I ordered one, and then I didn't realize I'd ordered it because it was like this has been on order for over a year, I think now. So I ordered a, a, another, and then um, oops, oopsie, oopsies. Oops. How much did so, I set you back to own a Ruby Rose? Um, it was about it was. I mean, for one in six, and it's a third party. I think it was less than a hundred pounds. I, I think see. it was about ninety pounds. That's like one twenty-five, one fifty. Uh, wait, I got to factor in Biden inflation. That's a thousand dollars US now. Oh my god! Wow. <laughs> so there's there's this from this company which I ordered two of, and then So So Toys have actually put out a version which I have on pre-order. So there is going to be a third. Ruby Rose Bat Whammon. The unholy trinity of blankness. It's okay, because I'm just gonna uh get out a marker pen and then uh -oh. create your Oh no, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't gonna work. You'd have to put a lot of stuffing in that figure, okay? <laughs> oh Hello. At least well, Ruby Rose old. is like a 12-year-old boy. She is. So. Uh, but um, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm going to try and do a little bit of not too much of one, but possibly try to do a little bit of a conversion just to to make it look like decent enough to go conversion in mind. therapy. You're going to put the oh yes. my god mm. conversion. <laughs> she got to be straight. <laughs> I'm surprised Jerry Rose isn't in, in more Disney stuff since she looks like a 12 year old boy. And well, I, I, I do like really the fact they got the tits right. <laughs> oh god. Why? Wow! Have relations with women and sex with men. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you gay. <laughs> wow, she's yeah, and anatomically accurate. And I'm a, anatomically yep. wow, that is flatter than a fucking pancake. Yep, <laughs> that looks like the 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 desert plains of the Sahara right there. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> and when the wind comes, even less gets no more. <laughs> Oh my god, oh, even more's getting god. knocked off. The tits are shrinking. <laughs> wow. We're gonna I might take the do you know so oh do you know so I might get a Fison body? I do have a Fison body because I got it when I did a DIY Tifa, but now that the Tifa's come out, I can take that Fison body, take the clothes off this, stick it on, give her a massive set of cans. Yeah, a fleshy Ooh. booby body, right? Yeah. Oh so, yeah. Nice. Kind of like Vampirella, who's squishy. Mm. That's a Fison. Yep. My Conan has one. He's very muscular. He works out, hangs out at the sauna. Yum. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> I watched The Northman, you guys. <gasps> ah, how is it? It was so good. I can't wait to see it. I'm seeing it tomorrow. It was oh. very good. Wait, day after tomorrow. I forgot what day it is. Today's Tuesday. Still. Today's I'm Tuesday. gonna watch. I think maybe tonight after this, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch the Batman. Doom 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 to see to see if I uh, I feel any differently. Maybe, maybe not, maybe. But there's um there is Gary, there is a one in six uh Walker, Captain America for pre order pre third party. Pre oh, hmm. that what I'd be interested in. And uh, they're also doing Hella, they're also is, being a third party Hella. Is he in US agent gear or the Captain America gear? From he's in the Captain America gear, woke and winner woke. Uh, yeah, from the hey guys, wouldn't it be great if we could team up and work together? No. Nah. No, because you're like, well, I got like the shield from like Steven 
And then I was just like, oh my God, I'm black. I can't have this. So I gave it away and then I gave it to a white guy. And I was just like, oh my God, a white guy's appropriating my black shield. And so now I'm not going to work with you because I'm like going to get the shield back off you because the white guy took it off of me. Okay. And do better. And don't forget, you can't get any credit. Right. Oh yeah. Save the world. Oh, yeah, you're right. And you gotta better. and you gotta do better. You know, billionaires. Even though I have no answers. He just wanted to repair his boat, guys. God, that's all he did. <laughs> uh, the Uber geek is uh, <laughs> already. <laughs> already. Already. We haven't. It's been nine uh, minutes. <laughs> took a took a screenshot of the um the uh, this- woman reveal. The shill, uh, Uber Geek, who was yeah. the shill on Twitter last night, making all them dollars. The the shill, here we go. Who called him a shill? <laughs> I'm dipshit on it. There you go. There's, there's, there's the bat, bat one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Twitter was such a glorious dumpster fire yesterday. Oh, it's so good. It Marvel really fans. was. Um, it was just like yeah. throwing churn into the waters. Oh, it is. Chum? It's just chum. chum, you know, chum, chum. They are the chum, chum. waters. Yeah, uh, yeah. Get uh, right as what's churn? Look, I will row <laughs> him, ro- him in all over your ass if you're not careful. <laughs> oh, oh my god, do we have that picture of Jeremy churning butter as an Amish guy? <laughs> 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 what? Such a great meme for Friday Night Tights like a year ago. We were talking about churning and it's freaking oh my God, yeah, it's yeah, almost we're... Jeremy churning, churning butter. I think uh, Perry Chan did. <laughs> oh, um, good. Real quick question. Uh, did you guys see the episode, uh, the third episode of Moon Knight? Yes. Yeah. Anyone care anymore? Uh, I'm done after. I'm, I, I'm done. We over at EFAP are very unhappy with the state of Moon Knight. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching like 80 percent of that 80 percent of that i was watching all it was so boring Wait, what the hell? Of, garbage. The episode, of you of your Me. EFAP. yeah i watched no i watched 100 percent of the episode but 80 percent of EFAP. oh which uh which oh. episode now when we were talking about moon knight or yeah when you were talking about moon knight i was very interested to hear what you guys had we were fucking what the hell was going on when he's moving the stars dude <laughs> like, they have what? a fucking app for that there's an app they right have an phone. app for that. You don't need to it, like. Dude, I almost. Sky. I almost thought oh, they were fucking taking a shot at Moon Knight in Doctor Who. What he's like, she's she's trying to use the constellations, and he goes, "Oh, I just use my app for that." And I was like, "What?" Well, <laughs> <laughs> the Moon Knight should uh, take some tips from the new Doctor Who. That's where we're at. Just wiggle your wand. Yeah, Gosh, um, it was so stupid. Yeah, I, I I know, and they did mention it in Doctor Who. It's just hilarious, and I'm like, and I went back to watch. Like, maybe I missed something. Maybe like this is an unknown constellation or something. No, no, they just wanted to turn back the sky. And no, it, it was just the it was the plow. <laughs> just, right. just the constellation, the plow, the what? plow. It's the thirteenth <laughs> constellation. I don't know, it, but uh, yeah, dude. And no Avengers showed up. The no. sky's turning backwards, like. Captain Falcon can't be bothered, mm-hmm. and nobody's worried. Oh, I'm sure. Doctor Where are the Strange? Eternals in all this? Everyone's Doctor, just like mm. Doctor Strange was too busy pouting that his girl's getting married. Mahler, okay. Mm-hmm. All male, all males are weak in the MCU. They have to go find oh, themselves for eight movies in a row. Oh my god! Yeah. And Doctor Wait, somebody, so- said, somebody, somebody on Twitter yesterday said was like, "It's the whole point that in every movie he needs to find himself." No, no. Wait, was, are we talking? Which which topic go with first? <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Oh, uh, sorry. Moon Knight. It's ADHD <laughs> live streaming here, so we're yeah. gonna start, yeah, we can start with Moon Knight. Let's start with Moon Knight. We'll get back to Thor in the so. In a bit. My whole fucking issue with Moon Knight at this point is it's drowning in plot, like it's insane nonsense, crazy bullshit, as well as introducing the Egyptian gods and then having them be incredibly stupid and blind. It's like that's yep. good. Thanks for that. Love and Thunder is going to do we the same thing. We do not thing get with involved in the yes. struggles of mortal man until five more minutes well, like, later when we do. When was the last time like there was a mainstream representation of a god and it was actually interesting instead of just embarrassing? Um, I would say a David Tennant and Martin Sheen. Good omens. Good omens. 
Mm. I'd take that over anything we've been getting from. Uh, I was gonna say it's so like what what am I what am I even referencing? It's like definitely Marvel with all of their god stuff, including Kang. I know he's, he's not a god, but I mean, he's like the most powerful fucking creature in the universe. So I don't know, and the, like the most longest living one. What's the plan with him, by the way? When are we seeing him again? Not that I want to. There is no plan. There's no plan. Okay. No, great. We're just making it up as we go. The, uh, uh, okay, so the, the the universe fracturing at the end of Loki was completely separate from the universe fracturing <laughs> in, in Doctor Strange. Was it? This is this is the they question I've had. Created in any way, shape, or well, form. The original plan, right, was to release uh, No Way Home after Multiverse of Madness, correct? Yes. 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 So yes, it was. I think they probably said like Loki was just a separate thing. Or maybe those three, Loki, Multiverse of Madness, and No Way Home, all of them could have been intertwined or causing each other. It didn't matter which fucking order they bring them out because the, the fans will fix it for us or some shit. That's probably what they're thinking. And WandaVision completely oh, yeah. from everything else. What happened was things the order got mixed up, but they didn't have a plan. So they're just waiting to see which one sticks and they'll like make it connect later. But if people actually think that like, okay, we're planning, we're going to have King. Okay. Appear in these two films. And then he's going to like cameo in these two films. And then we're going to bring in the fantastic four and glide. They do not have a plan like that. They, yeah. And don't yeah. forget Morbius and his weird <laughs> Venom world too. And they're Sony they're, doing their own thing. Yeah. Uh, on the like side. A, Morbius would be like the, just, it's just a punching bag for the internet. Morb it nobody really likes Morbius. <laughs> Them, we're all united in our hate for for fucking will be a sweep and everyone's saying like it's gonna make a more billion at the box office. <laughs> more billion. <laughs> <laughs> it's all memes, Gary. I was like more billion as a it's oh, good hey. shit. Like I I I for one am very much in favor of being able to finally for everyone to be honest about one of these movies. It's rare that we get a chance for that. It is, it is very rare. Morbius is like the Gillette of the superhero. <laughs> <laughs> it's like picking on it. It's kind of like picking on a special needs kid. Boys <laughs> will be boys. <laughs> it's it's not. I mean, it, of course they're gonna like when something's that bad. Everybody's gonna pile on. It's the it's what we've been fighting since Captain Marvel, where it's like that is clearly a bad movie. Sure, there's gonna be a percentage of people who like it. I accept that. Um, billion dollar hit movie majority of the fandom liking this bullshit i call it utter bullshit nobody talks about the movie since it aired everything they do talk about is political it's not about plot points it's not about man i really loved annette benning as fucking marvell being annette benning you know like that was really great you know nobody brings that up everybody brings up nick fury got she was my favorite up. oh my god she was terrible dude <laughs> she looked like she had been out of acting for years and she had been so yeah and and it would have been better for the story i mean it would have been more entertaining to have the male marvel be carol danvers love interest and die and then like he like the male character dying and then passing the torch literally to a woman that would have been a better story for one you would have had this connection she would have had motivation you know, like you killed my husband or oh, my lover. You know that, like, but that's too heteronormative. So we can't. Yeah, that's even, that's way too straight, Gary. Come on, keeping power from a man. Uh, so we just swap the genders. Then it's just meaningless women going, "Man, you're really awesome." No, I'm I'm not as awesome as you. And then Brie goes, "No wait, wait, wait <laughs> I am awesome. Never mind." And then she <laughs> you're right. I'm more awesome. That's the movie. That's the hero. That's the hero's journey, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yo, women. Yay, well, boobs. Boobs. As they don't have any boobs. That's true. Yeah. Have, like, mix in. I mean, there is a book called The Death of Captain Marvel. You could have mixed that in somehow. Uh, but, you, I mean, it would have been better if they introduced him and her early on. But Kevin Feige likes to come out and say it was all Ike Perlmutter's fault, that he shot all this shit down, that he was the sexist, although he was trying to sell a Captain Marvel uh, movie. He was trying to sell a movie for all his stuff before, you know, before the MCU came around. They were going to do a Black Panther movie with Wesley Snipes that got shot down. Uh, but then, you know, Kevin Feige created this whole fucking narrative because um, Perlmutter was a Trump supporter, right? So it was just easier to call him racist. And the guy doesn't do interviews. He doesn't like his picture taken. So he's not going to respond because he's a famous recluse. He's weird. He's a weird recluse. Uh, and, and, and a 
like rich and then kevin feige got him removed from the board like this film producer yeah wow. so the, the yeah yeah there's all kinds of shit going on behind the scenes and uh kevin feige is uh well we're, we're finding out what kevin feige is he's just a producer that's all he is and he's now producing rinse and repeat shit and that's what we got with with moon knight and thor you can pick uh, the Moon Knight third episode was dumb. It was boring. Uh, and it's very, very obvious what this big twist is going to be. Did you guys know that? I mean, there's I, a third personality in there. Yes. There's, yeah. There's a, They've kind of given it away already, haven't they? Yeah. They did. <clears throat> like massively. And everybody's all, there's the big twist coming. I'm like, what twist? There's a third personality. It's going to be. Jake. I mean, you could see it in like the, the opening because he's got like there's a three. There's three people that he's, you know, what I'm talking about in the opening because he's got like split into three different people. Yep. So it's, it's already in there. Like they've already basically given it away in the opening. But like I, I thought it was interesting because the, the, the gods thing I thought was interesting at first, like at the beginning. And then it was like immediately they let 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 you down with the gods thing. It was like, like, we don't we don't, you know, what you said as we don't discuss mortal stuff and then five minutes later it's like yeah we're just gonna butt into your business and we're gonna do all this stuff. yeah we, do, we don't get involved I'm, in the, the struggles of and, mortal man and then five minutes later just like let's get let's involved yeah <laughs> and then the other part too was kind of stupid because like they're they're all possessed or whatever by the gods and they're like circling him but then every time he gets possessed like like Khonshu comes and goes, so he's constantly like, arr, arr. And he's just like, I'm like, while well, they're all standing there, I'm like, why doesn't Khonshu just possess him and just stand there like a normal person and talk to him? I don't understand. Well, this if he comes across as unhinged, it'll be easier to discredit him. Um, that scene is horrendously awful. Like, mm -hmm. they it was basically, terrible. All the gods meeting up, that's got to be some kind of like cataclysmic event. Like, that's super important. And and when they're like, Osiris, and it's like a balding, middle-aged sort of guy who's come home from work. I'm just like, okay. I get it. He's the Avatar. He's not actually Osiris. It's just that Osiris? I don't know. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. We'll move on. And they're all like, okay, so what's, what's the claim? And it's like, that guy trying to raise Amit, which is basically like, end of the world shit. And all the gods don't want that to happen. And then they're like, prove that he wants to do that. And, he, and then they bring the guy and he goes, I'm not. They go, uh. Oh, okay, okay, then. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I've seen people He's defend done this. They're like, wrong. hey, there was no evidence. And it's like, they didn't even try any. They just asked him, why the hell would he admit to it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you trying to end the world? No. no. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Right, then. We're going to go back to gods. There was a guy on um Twitter. You know, and this is going to surprise you. There's a guy on Twitter that was just like, is this you, bigot? And they linked like 30 <laughs> seconds of my uh, episode three review. And I was talking about this scene and when it was like going on to Mark. And I was like, you can't tell who's who anymore because Stephen's meant to be like the beta male. But then they asked Mark to speak. And then Mark's just like, oh, I'm not okay with this. And then the Mark's fucking crying. I'm saying it's just bouncing around all these personalities like fucking idiots. And then this guy's just like, you're just taking the piss out of multiple personality disorder. <laughs> I, thought, oh I thought he was uh, Stephen briefly in the in the council meeting thing. I was getting confused. Yeah, because it gets. I, I thought, so thought too. Have they got the names wrong? Because Mark's acting like Stephen now. Yeah. Yeah, Mark was it, acting like a little <laughs> bitch the whole time. I was like, what, what the hell is going on? <laughs> I, uh, I don't like this. And he's, when he's, even when he's like talking to himself, he's like, "You got to do this, man. You got, you got to do." This. It's like, no, like, no, have some freaking balls. Like, I, 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 uh, I thought Mark was meant to be the in control guy. Exactly. It's like he made no sense. And then of but course, it just made no, but it also man. makes no sense because Mark's killed for Conchu. He's been Conchu's like arm, and then they go. Then now Jason's coming in and killing people, which we're not meant to know, but it's so mm -hmm. fucking obvious. Mm -hmm. And then. Mark's just like, I didn't kill them. But you've been killing people anyway. So what this is so fucking weird. Ah so, no, I don't care. Three, I don't, this is why I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Aspects, it's obvious. The three aspects of the personality, which were taken from, you know, he like Mark Spector had made up these uh to Jake Lockley so he could get to the underground and learn crime. And then he had, you know, Stephen Grant, the billionaire. 
Well, these are now aspects of the me two times up personalities, which is super toxic male, toxic male, beta That's male. That's right. Beta male. That's all this is. It's this- fuck- MCU through and through. You're totally right, Gary. And it's like basically it's like watching a libs of TikTok episode, like one of those uh, or like little clips where the, the, you get doxxed. I know you're right. Freaking Taylor Lorenz is going to dox me. But um, it's like when you watch those weird TikTok videos and they're literally doing the multiple personality thing in one video and like a little 30 second video, that's basically Moonlight, Moon Knight. Uh, they're, they're like, this Moonlight. Is- that was a great show. Bruce Willis. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they're like basically like this is this is this is the show. We have the three different aspects. We're 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 doing this cuck, more cuck, less, you know, even yeah. cuckier than cuck, cuck. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucked. Uh before before the show started, uh we're gonna get to the rest of the introductions in just a second. But they uh we did get a hundred dollar super chat. Wow. And- Carlton Bach from Carlton Bach for $100 says, here's a little thanks for everyone's streams and videos getting me through the brutal midnight to noon, 12 hour shift wow. from Delta Junction, Alaska. May the wings of Liberty never lose a feather. Oh, what hell that is brutal, but thank you for working. I done some of the, I, when I was at uni a long time ago, and we'd go with like agencies to get some money, so you so you just be sent anywhere. And they used to send me to this fucking food factory, and it was twelve hour shifts, and you got two twenty minute breaks a day. So you you're working eleven hours, t- and it was on your feet, and all I was doing was spraying that fucking free stuff over garlic breads. That sounds awful. <laughs> sounds yeah, I, I wanted to crushing. fucking kill freeze myself freeze? after a week. <laughs> you spraying freeze stuff? Yeah, you, you spray this like freezing thing over the over the garlic breads. Huh. To kind of preserve them. I'm sure it was safe. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Br- British it's food. Fine. British food is so fucking funny. You should be saying British and then food in quotations. I did you know so just before this street started, I was like, I this one thing I forgot to do today. I've done I've done my two member member videos, I've done some some uh, washing up, uh, I've done this, I've done that, and I was like, there's just one thing, one thing I forgot to do. I was like, what is it? I was like, oh yeah, eat. <laughs> I forgot to fucking eat today. Yeah, well, it's not it. like skipping Fine. a meal. I know skipping a meal ain't gonna fucking do me no harm, let's just be honest. But I was just like Bummer. Bummer. Hi. Uh, hello, Mahler. Hello. 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 Uh, yeah, I mean, I just had a nice little cavalcade this week of watching shitty content. I was like, remember, I, I thought Moon Knight episode one was kind of neat, but I just, mm-hmm. I just, I just, you know the story. Why should I even say it? <laughs> like, it's the same <laughs> story every fucking time. Oh, yeah. Every well, time. That was, and to be fair, at this point, I consider Moon Knight episode one a bait. I think it's a fucking they yeah. designed that way on purpose. And you know what else I think is designed that exactly on purpose is that Thor trailer, actually. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um first thought I had when watching it, I was like, You're lying to me. This film isn't even about what you're saying it's about. The Guardians are probably gonna be in it for like five minutes. Right, right yeah, right at the beginning of the film, and he walks away from them when they start that fight with that group of people. He's like, Oh, this ain't no fun no more. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be yeah. ten minutes, ten, fifteen minutes tops, it's gone. But did you hear that Rotten Tomatoes posted a synopsis of what the film is? Oh, no, I did oh, not hear. Let's, Let's pull that out. Rotten posted a synopsis, and it, it went something like, uh, Thor tries to find himself in an era of peace, but then a new threat rises in Christian Bale, who's going around killing gods. So he teams up with King Valkyrie, uh, that stone guy, well, Taika Waititi, and uh, the mighty Thor, so and the Thor. four of them go on an adventure to uh, to defeat um, Chris Gore, Gore the God Butcher, Gore the yeah, oh dear, uh, and and just to let you know, uh, Doctor Strange is going to be about Scarlet Witch. 
<laughs> I, now this. Wait, you don't on. say, now Gary. You me. don't say. Now this shocks me. 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 Now this. Didn't Benedict Cumberbatch literally say he wasn't sure of what Doctor Strange's like arc no. even is? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> and they reshot like seventy percent of it. It's ridiculous. It sounds like Solo. I, I love. Have you? I'm just a quick aside. I've noticed people still trying to say like Solo wasn't such a bad movie. What? <laughs> Solo Who says that shit movie. Solo is Solo is shit. Utter shit. It's complete shit. Oh, uh, fell as I was nearly fell asleep. What's what was? Oh, was that the? I didn't even. Get that was the. Oh, sorry. I'll I'll share it again. Yeah, that was the rotten. Tomatoes. That was the synopsis for the movie. Yeah. And hi, Nina. Nina. We, can, we can give you an intro now. Hi. Hi. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's uh, always a pleasure to be here, Gary. Thor's surprise. Uh, and it's always a pleasure to have you here, Nina. Thank you. Uh, together, they embark on, what is it? Uh, who, to Thor's surprise, inexplicably wields the magical hammer Mjolnir as the mighty Thor. But, like, did, did, did Thor change? I mean, because Thor does get turned into a woman by Loki in Earth X. Is it oh. Earth X or Universe X? I'm I'm getting old. I'm starting to forget. Help me, chat. Was it Earth X or Universe X as a punishment? Um, well, it is a step down. It was like a long fucking time ago. It was like decades. So. Do you think Loki will even be in this movie? Do you think he'll even make a cameo? Earth X. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do I think who will make a cameo? Loki. Maybe Loki's fingering I himself. It. I guess <laughs> um, that's all right. He can't because he's lost. Lost. In he's time. locked in Kang. Well, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> multiverse. Yeah, it's possible. Um, I I'm amused by the way they did explain this as though Thor goes to get Jane to help him fight Gore, and then is surprised to see she has Thor powers or something. That's the way this explanation runs. It's just like, wait, what? Why would he? But um, does that mean we're not gonna? Are we gonna get like a passing line to explain how she's worthy? Probably Shot that cancer. Yeah. yeah. But like well, she's gonna yeah, be a okay. variant, right? I mean, I imagine she's gonna be a variant. That like if she's not a variant, then this is a complete shit show. For one, at the end of Loki, the entire Marvel universe should have been fracturing, absolutely fracturing, and it's not like Moon Knight isn't. No, Peter yeah, but I, I was but it should it's not factory, isn't it? It was just splitting off the different multiverse. Yeah, like there well, was like allowed the multiverse to exist, which is yeah. confusing because the ancient one said in Doctor Strange the multiverse does exist. Yes. But Loki said, No, we just unlocked it. It didn't exist before because we destroy anything that goes off one timeline. So maybe she Oh, knew. there's an explanation mm. for that. Kang yeah. did it. Kang. Kang did it. That still doesn't <laughs> that, I know. No, doesn't I mean. know. I, I'm really glad that I'm not Bad the writing. only one that's super confused about how many different weird multiverses there are because I've, I'm so fucking confused. There's this just place. enough multiverses to make sure that all your beloved characters have an ethnically, ethnic and diverse uh, version of them. All all's sure. multiverses do is dilute. Uh, they are gimmicks yes. that you have to go to when people stop reading or or that particular writer is out of ideas or you need to reset a fucking universe like DC did uh they yeah they're just a terrible terrible fucking gimmick that 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 are just cheap copies that yep. don't fucking work a, a very rare occasion like you get uh Battlestar reboot that works right that's one in a million one in a fucking million uh yeah so it's it's just to dilute that's all um with regards to the Thor trailer, it's like, how many times is he going to find himself again? I feel like I'm watching the Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. Every five minutes, this guy's like, I need to go find myself again and put on these jeans. and White, white male. White male, so you need to make him gay and dumb. Did you see that gay <laughs> scene, too, in the trailer? Yeah. It wasn't... Right, okay. It wasn't a fucking gay scene, and anyone who says that, I'm going to fucking punch your fucking teeth to the back of your head. It, this is this is the problem that we fucking have, right? Uh, fucking Star Lord says, I look at all the people when I don't know where to find myself. I look at the people I love. 
and he's looking at the Guardians because those are the guys that he loved. Thor wants to be involved in that because he's not looking at Thor. So Thor keeps moving his head to get in his eye line because he wants to be loved. Don't Wait, we all want to be loved? And everyone's, the internet was just like, oh my God, I fucking died for this gay thing. I bet Chris Pratt was going mad for this gay well, thing. And I, I'm just no, like, I, I, I absolutely believe that was a Taika Waititi oh. like, little wink to Chris Pratt. Pratt, all the, the controversy. I, I believe exactly, that. Gary. I, I, that's what I, I thought. I think he's that petty. I'll ruin your you. You know, everybody like, like remember in the beginning, people were defending Taika Waititi. That's his humor. That's his humor. You find out that this guy's actually thin skinned like a mofo. Oh, he's got mm -hmm. a sense of humor, but he's thin skinned like a mofo. So so that initially when he said, "I'll ruin your mythos in a in a minute, baby," I was like 50 50 on it. I was like, he could be joking. He could be no. He's fucking serious. He's dead fucking serious. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't give a fuck. And and all you have to do is look at his actions since then. Uh, and yeah, well, wait for this movie, you know. And um, I got to give a little shout out to Doug Ernst. Doug Ernst is like a OG culture warrior, right? He's been around, been blo you know, writing about this stuff since 2014. He did a great video on it yesterday. A little four minute video. Go check it out. And, and he'll he'll bring up when he first brought this up, because uh, what when I say the comics were the proving ground for all this, I'm not like bullshitting you guys. This these were the that's exactly what they existed for. They existed to be the proving ground. So these assholes can go. It happened in the comics. Yeah, they suck, too. They suck, too, except this is actually going to be worse. So as as bad as Cancer Thor was in the in the comic books, she's going to be worse now because at least they got you got an explanation in the comic books. wasn't a good one. Didn't like it. Didn't it wasn't executed very well. Had good art. That's about it. Uh, it's not going to be executed well here. It'll be as Mahler said, a passing line. He's amazing. That's all. She'll be. I I thought that like I can see it from your point of view as, but at the same time, with regards to how they said that they were going to ruin Chris Pratt's character and they're going to make him buy now and all and. And the, the way that they've been treating these characters in the leftist media and also just generally speaking how the leftist media wants to tell you that you can't have male friends unless they're gay, like men can't be friends anymore. It just made it so that like you gave you it gave this little hint of like, oh, Thor and Thor is a little gay for Star Lord. And it's like I understand as is frustration, though. Right. I get it. too. It's, I, it's left open. For question, but Taika Waititi knew goddamn well what kind of reaction it would get. Right? What he's doing, so yeah. He's playing but, coy, but they're using gay people. That's the thing is they, yeah, they're, the, they're this, using this, the, the gay people to sorry. fucking go attack your enemies. Go on, as yeah. This is this is the thing. Uh, left the, with the left, there's no friendship. There's this fucking there's homosexuality and there's nothing else because they are fucking mentally fucking tapped in the fucking head. Right? Normal people, that, that's just a fucking joke that he just wanted to be included because he's Thor and he's egotistical and he's always been a bit egotistical and a bit up himself and he wants to be included in the I want to be loved. If Marvel want to do something with two guys being fucking gay, then fuck. I ain't going to believe shit until fucking Star-Lord <laughs> bent over with his fucking head down and ass up and fucking Chris Hemworth slapping his fucking white ass. Okay? So Marvel, either put up or fucking shut up with your fucking gay baiting bullshit. Because you bait and you bait and you bait just like fucking Doctor Who later. That fucking baited and baited. But you never fucking follow through because you never have the fucking courage to do so. Because you know what will happen if you do. You want to see tongues, as is what you're saying. You want to oh, see tongues. I I want to see. I want to see tongues run down throats. I want to see tongues mm. in fucking anuses. I want to see fucking That's schlong, porn, schlong I in they say anai, anai, anai. So I only then, I, I, only then will I believe that there's some fucking gay going on. Then I'll be a, like, okay, that, of anus. that is pretty fucking gay. <laughs> Sometimes I feel so out of the loop. I just saw that was a reference to the fact that Star Lord and Thor still don't quite get on because they butt heads about who's the cooler, better guy. Um, and that Star Lord was clearly like, what you need to do in life is look to the people you love for inspiration. And then it frames the Guardians, and Thor's like, 
I'm cool too. That's how I saw it. I, I didn't realize yeah, that's that. That's how I saw it too. That's how I saw it. And then on the internet, it's like, oh my God, I make a Chris Brown. The internet would see it. I absolutely knew how Twitter specifically would see it, not the internet. But uh, don't mean to blame the entire internet. Sorry. But uh, how dare you, Gary? No, I know. Do better. I'm on that, Gary. Did you like walking into that x ray girl? Hmm? I I just wasn't expecting such a. Mm-hmm. Beautiful Such painted rations. picture. Yeah. Um, wow. Well, I'm well, so was, glad you went there because I was so ready to call you a bigot. You know. <laughs> it's so descriptive, and I'm just like, I, I don't want to see that. But I mean, as does, so I have questions. I, I didn't say what I see. I said I would only believe that they're gay when Marvel mm. actually fucking makes them uh, yeah. involved in you a know, sexual encounter with each other. Even if they do that, though, you know they'll take it out for like other countries that oh i hope so because then i get to make more videos and call them out further and then i get two sheds in the garden and not one (laughs) then she'll apologize big one (laughs) yeah one big (laughs) it's called a house (laughs) (laughs) no a big shed it's bubbles is shed bubbles is shed yeah with cat mountain (laughs) kitty mountain here Yeah, uh, Commandant VHS is absolutely right with his two dollar super chat. Thank you very much. That is what we're dealing with. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. The jocks, uh, the the cool kids have come in and taken over our hobbies, and 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 the activists, They're, the fucktards have come in and taken over our hobbies with no respect for them whatsoever. Now it's just a fucking joke. Uh, this is like this. It's uh, uh, to bring back to Doug Ernst. It's Chris Hemsworth doing a Thor impression. That's all it mm. is. It's a Thor mm. impression. It's not acting like Thor. You go back. Somebody, I'm, I'm, for, forgive me, but somebody posted up a clip of Odin banishing Thor from Thor one. It's one of my favorite scenes in the MCU, dude. Anthony Hopkins sells this thing like he's like trying to win an Academy Award. It is so fucking good. You can you can hear the torture in his voice when he's like banishing his own son, his greedy little you know boy, uh, to teach him a lesson, you know, and it could it could end him, but he needs to learn it. And it was such a great scene. And then you look at this fucking clown show; it's not even close. Kenneth Brown now like brought a seriousness to Thor. And dude, the the Thor movie, the first one's pretty light. It's like a sitcom in the middle of it. I still like it. Yeah, I, I don't still, mind it. Yeah, because it takes itself seriously. It's dude, it's nowhere. Near, you're right. It's no. It's like. I like it. It's not the greatest thing ever, but I like it. I thought it was a good first shot at Thor, which is really tough to do, and and he pulled it off. Well, and you would have noticed as well if if you watch that movie after the latest from Chris Hemsworth Thor, it's like Jesus Christ, these are two different characters. And you're like, yeah, they are. Hmm. Um, Thor is relatively consistent with Thor one and two, Avengers. Avengers, he's a bit more lighthearted when combined with the team. Age of Ultron, it starts getting strange, and then uh, Ragnarok. Completely changes everything. Like it's almost a retcon. People talk about it as Thor. It's it's like they rebooted Thor because they were like he's too dry or too boring. And then Infinity War took him to punish Thor, which I think all of us were like, "Ooh, all right, okay, all right, what, what, what are we doing?" And then Endgame fucked everything up. Yes, it did. Uh, we know how Tessa got her job. Yeah. So this is this is a if you don't know what this picture is, folks. Uh, the the woman on the right. That's Tessa Thompson. The woman that she's kissing is Taika Waititi's girlfriend. And the guy who's there is Taika Waititi. And, like, good on you, mate. Right. right. I mean, Tessa Thompson, maybe he gets a smirk out of her once in a while. I don't know. But uh, that's fine. Uh, but that is one of the actresses in your movie. And didn't mm-hmm. we just go through a Me Too Times Up era where a mm-hmm. bunch of people had their lives ruined and a lot of them unnecessarily, well, I won't even say unnecessarily, uh, cruelly, unjustly had their lives ruined. And some people justly had their lives ruined. Uh, but a, a, a lot of people got fucked over who did nothing fucking wrong. And then there's this fucker, right? Because he's got the right politics, can boink an actress like everybody's still fucking doing in Hollywood, by the way. Nothing's changed. Absolutely nothing's changed. Meet the new boss, same as the old boss. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of love and thunder going on on the set. With these, <laughs> lot, yeah. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. I put. I actually put the um this very picture in in the private chat, but with the other ones because there's like four pictures. 
yeah. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, Commandant VHS. Free. Good hmm? point. Oh, I was just saying. Good point to Commandant VHS. Yeah. Yeah, they'll share it, Gary. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, you got new there. You got new set photos. The kissing Taika Waititi. Then Taika's kissing his girlfriend. Then Taika's kissing Tess. Then Tess is kissing his girlfriend. Yeah. Uh, did you see on Twitter yesterday? So I retweeted you, right? And then somebody got mad at me for retweeting you, which like I don't care. But they said, "Well, at least Taika Waititi has brought beautiful things to the world." And, and Nerdrotic has ruined hundreds of thousands of lives. Wow! <laughs> oh, no. Wow! <laughs> well, where's the lie, Gary? <laughs> okay, you got me. <laughs> hundreds of thousands of lives hundreds have been ruined by this. Lives I've ruined with my movie opinions, and you too, oh. Gary. You're part of this too. I wonder nice. what our kill count is. I'm not sorry. Remember, they're they're saving lives. Just imagine, think how many lives have been saved with the Eternals. Well, yeah, if you guys had said go watch mm. the Eternals, plenty of people would be alive right now. They would. I didn't watch that movie. Oops. <laughs> oh no, you're gonna die. <laughs> oh, and, hey, look. Uh, oh wow, legalized Hadohood, dude. <laughs> 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 wow. <laughs> it's the gayness of Thor. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, Uber Geek has actually done some research, and he actually has spotted a thing in the trailer. If you look very carefully, <laughs> you can you can see why some oh people think God. it's a little gay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Uh, legalized adulthood. Thank you so much. <laughs> I really appreciate you. I'm gonna leave that up. Wow. You know, I was like that's, fucking that's amused amazing. as well that they knock out Fat Thor probably in the first minute of the movie, and it's just like, yeah, mm. what a stupid yeah. idea. Let's move on. It's like, just yep. <laughs> it's um, a montage, and he's gone. never should have oh, never should have done it in the first place. What a fucking waste. That was actually my favorite part of the uh, trailer where he was working out with those chain things, and I was like, finally, he's getting rid of. He's getting fit, and I thought that was the the, the chain thing was fun with the skeleton. I was like, okay, just a personal fun. attack or something. Um, <laughs> you take it how how you will. As <laughs> well, so, in the, and that's kind of how I felt about the trailer. I was like, all right, we've got rid of Fat Thor, good. And then um, yeah. he's like, you know, struggling with the thing about Thor right now is that if we were all given this project to, to actually write, I would be like, guys, we're in trouble because Thor is like three different people. If you look at yeah. his history, he's like, what the Moon hell Knight. do we do? And it's like, I'm not sure. But this film seems to pause it. We're going to be figuring him out in this one. And mm -hmm. then, oh, look, that's kind of neat. Look at this little look at Lady Thor. Oh, that's, that's, and it's like, nah. yeah, you put it right at the end. I'm sure she won't be in the whole movie. Okay, it's fine. I'm sure she the movie will in... still be about him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I, it'll be about him, like, probably fully realizing his Thor potential like at the end of the movie and then like a lot of the heavy lifting will be done by the mighty Thor by uh female Thor female Thor you know girl she Thor, will teach Thor. Him I'm, I'm a little, be Thor again I'm a little spooked that he might get killed or retired uh, I thought about that I did think about it I don't I don't know if he's signed he's the only yeah, one to get a fourth solo move well I say solo you know what I mean like, uh, yeah, <laughs> the fourth film, uh, yeah, because uh, Captain America is getting a four. I'm sure that's going to do great. But Captain, you America. know, in, the, in that case, though, it'll have like a subtitle, right? And it's like a series now that has a replacement fucking actor instead. Like this is Chris Hemsworth headlining each of the four. So I have a feeling that it'll be like maybe it's time for the for the for this thought of to move aside, you know. Well, they're killing room. Guardians off in the next Guardians. Yeah. yeah, they are. I expect more than half of them to go. Didn't he say something like that? Yeah, it's a, it's a, that'll be the last one. Well, um, dude, Drax if... doesn't want to be there anymore. Like the actor, no. Chris Pratt's obviously canceled. Um, God, we're 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 losing every last thread that connects. They to haven't the in a good way. Correct me if I'm wrong. I, th I didn't. I read something like they haven't even contacted Chris Hemsworth about uh, something beyond this. 
So it's one of the actors. I don't know if it was Chris or not. I memories was cheese. But um but yeah, if you know, if they have him decide at the end of the movie, you know what? I realize I'm just not cut out for superheroing. I'm gonna go now. You, you, Jane, you take over. <laughs> Uh, okay, Jane Foster, and and I, I want a Jane Foster Thor solo movie right now. No. No. Well, hang hang on, Mahler, though, because in the trailer, that's literally what he says. He's like, "I'm done exactly. with superheroing. I'm a hippie now." And he like goes and which was that ever on the cards for him in the entire MCU? It's not like he was. I don't remember him ever being like, "Man, I don't. I'm not a fan of superheroing." Except every maybe superhero, Endgame. But... Every superhero has quit. But I mean, we're talking like issue 400. You know, like they 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 all quit at some point. That's part of their journey. But um, I'm, not, I'm not sure I buy it. But whatever. I just hope they don't make that the conclusion. Quit. Yeah. But uh, I'm. But yeah, it's sorry. For yeah, something ahead. like really fucking tragic, not like after you get things put together. So, you know, unless somebody wants to walk off in the set, that, that just doesn't happen, though. So, see, super comics are supposed to go forever. There's never supposed to be an end to the story. Well, that's right? kind of the problem, right? He's been around for, what, like 3,000 years or something? Yeah. Um, and I suppose you could argue, yeah, but he lost his friends and family. He's like, yeah, but they fucked that in Endgame. He decided to get fat. And it's been five years since all of that happened, right? So, and then he came back to fight in Thanos, and they won. And now he wants to retire, I guess. It's like, uh... It's like, still, he's it's he's a completely different character than he was in uh, Infinity War and Endgame. Yeah. He, he's going to be rebooted yeah. again. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. He's two characters in those two films because he goes from quite stern, you know, fighty Thor, kind of more Thor 1, Kenneth Branagh's Thor, to joke fat bloke. Mm. Who plays Fortnite, and then in oh, Thor two he's different, and then in Ragnarok completely fucking different. This is the most inconsistent character in the MCU. I careful. <laughs> We've got a lot well, of competition. For I, I that would now. say I would say out the main, like the main, certainly out the main, like Iron Man and Captain America were pretty consistent. For the most and Thor, part, Thor being the uh, the third. Oh Jesus Christ. No, I, well, you know, sure. I think you're right. It's just like I just think about the sure. fucking Cap's final decision, which still frustrates the hell out of me. Yeah, yeah, oh. that's well, that's because Chris Evans wasn't going to be Captain America anymore. So again, it's just like ugh. he wasn't going to be. They didn't exactly like charm him back, right? They they, they wanted him gone too because they wanted yeah. to do, they wanted to do the MCU. They wanted to have more women care, more female characters than male characters. That was very important to Kevin. And they Fox. wanted to do uh, Black Captain America. And they wanted to do black, yeah. They wanted to do everything they'd done in the uh, all new, all different Marvel, right? And now, now they are in the middle of it, and it's a complete fucking disaster. It's such a disaster. Uh, I'm looking for the one that shows her arm. Oh, we can show Zeus too. I got. Zeus. Uh, all right. Well, while I'm looking for the one that shows her arm, um, everybody's like, "Hey, she worked out. That's great." And that that could have happened. That absolutely could have happened. Um, so what? I know that, yeah, I just like, I'm just curious. I'm just a curious guy. I'm curious why we haven't seen Natalie Portman's workout regiment like on her Instagram, right? And maybe it exists. Somebody show me. Somebody show me like her going from like little Natalie to big fucking yoked up Natalie because that will be, that's the kind of thing actors do. It's part of the marketing. I just think it's weird that they didn't do it. That's all. I haven't seen anything. Maybe they were trying to keep it a surprise. Maybe that's a real arm. Maybe it's a stunt woman. Maybe it's CGI. I don't fucking know. I don't know. But that, like, I, I'm I'm quite confused by this because her arm doesn't look remotely big to me in the slightest, and I'm confused as to why movie, everyone's man. saying she's yoked up. Her arms are fucking tiny. Even in the picture where she's got the uh, maroon T-shirt on, she's just lifting her shoulders up a bit. It's an awkwardly posed picture. We don't know what she was doing. In that moment, but her arms are still thin as fucking them. They're big. By the I way, mean, this is this is Natalie Portman who wore a dress to some fucking yeah. event with the names of a bunch of female directors who uh, she said just didn't get uh, hired in Hollywood. However, she runs her own production company and uh, hires her own directors, and they just so happen to be either her or men. 
So Natalie Portman's another stupid fucking Hollywood uh, virtue signaling dickwad. We can do whatever men can do, except work out for our roles. Hey, I don't know, man. I thought she was more buff than freaking Batman or Robin Pattinson in the Batman. Oh, wow. 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 I'm just, I'm wow. Just saying. I feel like she limits. worked out harder than him. <laughs> Here, it, I've got a picture of her arm. It's it, Her arm is definitely bigger than her little noodle arm, usually. So. Well, she's like a little, she's five foot three. That's what's listed. So, you know, she's five foot one. All right. She is a hobbit. Uh, and maybe her feet are that hairy. Is mighty Thor you're talking about there, Gary. I know. Well, you know, hey, uh, Scarlett Johansson. Johansson is only five foot three as well. They made her look good. So. Man, what a great casting for Black Widow. Such a pity. She, I, yeah. yeah. They completely wasted. Uh, completely wasted. Fucking, fucking solo movie was just disaster. It's garbage. Garbage. It's funny, my sister visited for, for Easter, and she was like, should I see that one? And I was like, you're not going to like it. And then she's like, why? And I was like, fucking villain. His motivation is there's too many girls. And she like looked at me like, what do you mean? And I was like, that's it? <laughs> there's too many girls? She's like, that doesn't really make any sense, does it? And I was like, it's too many girls. Did she say a suspicious amount of women? <laughs> a suspicious amount of women doing things. Around. There is. That's so true. Now I can't see where I fucking saved. I've got so many fucking pictures. Look at but you saw her arm. I'll figure it out in a second. <laughs> you saw her arm. You saw her arm. It's bigger. But, uh, but okay, let's let's just let's just say she uh she did some working out and she 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 yoked her arm. So sure. fucking what? The character the character was a fucking disaster in the comics, failure. They didn't know what to do with Jane Thor. They made a Valkyrie. For a bit as well. I don't know if she's still Valkyrie at the moment or what she's doing, but it's it's I don't give a I don't give a fuck about Marvel doing their uh tour de force of all their failed comic book pack characters on the big screen. Don't care. I'm not there for it. It's been 40 years of continuity. I mean, because they were just crawling out. What they were doing is mixing in some of the ultimate stuff, but they were just crawling out of like the uh, introduction of the Avengers and fucking everybody. That's like the 60s. So, Which is already a rush in a sense, isn't it? Having yeah, only yeah. that set of movies up to the Avengers. Like, was it? Was the America gun. Chavez just looks like a fucking disaster in, in Captain in uh, Doctor Strange. She looks terrible. The character looks terrible. Yeah, she. I mean, I don't want to pick on the little girl, but they, yeah, they, they, the costume. I'm talking character. I'm talking character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, and the costume doesn't look good. It doesn't look anything like that. I no. mean, they just put a jean jacket on her. That's like 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 the lowest effort shit they could do. But that's Marvel now. That's Marvel because they want cosplayers. They they showed the real Thor uniform for like a split second in the trailer. That's like the one thing I liked was that we got to see the Jack Kirby costume and somebody put on twitter that they look better they just look better they look more fun than these like ski fucking motorcycle suits everybody's wearing and yeah it's 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 you know um fuck it. in 2009 when marvel bought was bought by disney i knew this would happen i knew like the comics would be dead they'd be just dead and the movies would be really good i didn't think they'd be good for this long i was kind of surprised that they they were they were good uh but now they suck and the comics are dead and what do we get out of it no the corporate america corporate disney just comes in just chews it up brings out their you know and a lot of people fucking support it because look tiny lights and now it's just do, does anybody have any fucking doubt how this is going to end? Like we we have the evidence with Doctor Who, it's playing out right in front of everybody's motherfucking eyes, and people still go, maybe we should give it a chance in the trailer. Come <laughs> 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 on, people, wake the fuck up! Hey, Shit. I I am more than fine with you going on predictions. Humans do it all the time, but I think you're absolutely right. However, I don't know the movie's bad until I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, did, here, Gary. Gary, here yeah, we go. Sh share this. Somebody Silence, saying is, Nina, don't this is the route they want it to go. This is I, this is the route they want it to go. You technically, 
you are correct. This could be the best kind of correct. But the thing, (laughs) which is the best kind of correct, which is the best kind of correct. It's better than being just normally correct. You're technically correct. Uh, But after I've, I mean, it's 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 wisdom. Wisdom comes with getting slapped in the face seven or eight times, and you go, you know, I don't want to be slapped in the face anymore. Maybe I'll do something to avoid being slapped in the face. You know, where I completely agree with you is if anyone expects this to be good, I'd be like, why? What possible reason could you have? And that's absolutely point? what they're leading up to. Ms. Marvel. It, what is, that's, is that meant to be Iron Man as an Iron Heart? Because mm. it looks like either Iron Man's had his jaw, fuck, he's got a weak jaw, well, I, uh, I, or it looks like an myself. eagle's face. They're leading to that, but that is way too hedro. They want to have Thor making out with Black Captain America. Of course. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. My bad. It's not female Thor. When is Nick? You taste like ass? a goddess. Why didn't anyone Ew. say Thor tastes like a god? When it, Jane Thor comes up, she goes, ah. Tastes like a god. Oh. What? Oh. What? <laughs> Sorry, Nina. I'm oh, sorry wow. heterosexuality oh. disgusts you. Just <laughs> quick aside. Better mm-hmm. Call Saul was fucking awesome last night. Oh, shit. What's oh, out? Is it back? Fucking awesome last night. It was so good to see something good. I know what I'm watching as soon as oh. the stream's over. <laughs> wait, two, two episodes. You get two episodes. I'm Wait, it's Netflix, isn't it? Don't you get them all? No, no. Damn. Weekly. weekly. Netflix is always like Netflix a learning. So wool. No, no. It's AMC. It's it's an AMC production. So it's always been weekly. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. So it it gets it's Sunday night, uh, 6 p.m. Pacific, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern. uh, And I'll probably end up doing a review for the final season. I skipped uh, last season, but my God, I was just like, and you know what? It was just right in line with all the other Better Call Sauls, right? You know? And I was just like, I felt like a starving man in the desert. I was like, I'm just enjoying every second of this. This is so cool. That's how I felt about the Northmen when I was watching it. I was like, oh, this is amazing. Um, but, like, I'm going to watch Better Call Saul when it's finished and you say it's good, Gary. And I'll be like, all right. It's good. It's, I mean, it's not as good as Breaking Bad, but I would say it's the best follow-up prequel, prequel show ever made. To another wow. show, I mean, does anybody in the chat have another one? You might. I mean, I, I would. I would say the best revival of all. Time. No, the best revival of all time is Russell T. Davies' Doctor Who, without a doubt. Yeah, I and, thought you were saying that like ahead of time because I was like, yeah, it will be a revival. What a convince <laughs> I mean, what Chibnall's done to it. Oh yeah, yeah this is true. <laughs> it'd be re- not a revival, it'd be a resuscitation. That's resuscitation. what it'd be. <laughs> much a much better description. Much better. <laughs> Like, yeah. I just wanted to. I, I I did kind of stop working last night, and I'm just like, oh, better call Souls on. Boom, stopped everything I was doing to watch it. I can't remember the last time I did that. So sad. Um, let's read a couple soups, and then uh, we got uh, Digby Strawbridge Bridge for twenty British pounds. Nothing to say, but twenty British pounds. Thank you very much. That's proper money. Cheers, Digby. I don't know if you meant to do that. Oh, we got uh, 20 Canadian pesos from Super Neo Comics. It says it's a fine to have it's fine to have more feel uh more female characters in the MCU, but do not be lazy about it. Thor is his name. The Raiders, the writers, the Raiders, too. That's what they're uh must call her something else. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. She, she can exist as a as a thunder god type, change her name, and then make her a likable character they initially tried to do that in the books that's how it started it didn't finish that way though it did not finish that way so you said make them a likable character i've never they don't know how to do that yeah (laughs) see that's a likable fucking woman in this fucking universe um kevin feige just wanted more females he didn't want them to have agency or personality they all have the same fucking personality which is yeah they're all based on like a disgruntled uh, Disney HR director who had to give up a little bit too much integrity for her job. That's that's pretty much what every Disney female character is based on. 
Captain Carter, Haley Atwell, Kavakis oh. Lady. But uh, this isn't what I want to draw your attention to. Why? Why? It's, 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 <laughs> yeah, why? My well, attention is drawn. <laughs> because the, the reply is too good. It's just cut the record. I could do this all day. <laughs> I mean, he did. So <laughs> he did. Yeah, he, that's that's he why did. I went back in time, and I don't blame okay. him at all. Maybe I want to correct something a little bit, like fucking off an entire universe for Haley Atwell. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> I can see it. I can see it. I'm doing a heartbeat. It's a gorgeous woman. Beautiful one. This Captain America, though, he wouldn't do it. This the guy. This guy who like fucked off everything for his best friend. So the, uh, what? What he sacrifices? No, I hate the decision. I still hate the decision. It's fucking terrible. He's all. All, all heroes are supposed to have that little bit of torture that they can't have normal lives. That's part of being a hero. Yeah. Dude, we, know, we don't even know if he spoke to Bucky before leaving. Like, what did he even tell him? Just like, bye, dude. I hope you're going to be all right, I guess. <laughs> and then we yeah, got... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam goes Amazing. back and Bucky's like, does he want to want to speak to me? And so I'm just like, no. No. Um, this this was my reaction to the trailer. I was uh, like, what? The fuck is this? For one, I love how she's like totally man-spreading. And, and mm. Eric July brings this up with tokenized characters, specifically when he's talking about black characters uh, being switched to white characters. The, the white male character or the male character is the only one with respect and agency, and that's how they see it. So when they mm -hmm. do a gender swap or do a king fucking Valkyrie, you, what you're saying is the only valid thing is the male part of that mm -hmm. yeah queens are just as powerful as kings in a lot of cases more power when you're the queen of england you're the fucking queen victoria queen elizabeth yeah queen elizabeth the second king queen so thatcher queen thatcher <laughs> queen, thatcher. <laughs> queen John. lady uh but no, no that, that's what that's exactly what they're doing here so so okay so in the name of feminism you're going to make women men and then and then she finally becomes a king and she looks bored as fuck and then she's Hi. daydreaming I'm doing it in athletics dude she's so not do it in the film? yeah she's like freaking day drinking that's how interested she is she's like i'm just gonna fucking get drunk now yeah um, and, and why was she more worthy than thor she was an alcoholic before did she get treatment no <laughs> thor, she wasn't she wasn't more worthy than thor thor just went here you be leader she went mm. all right yeah. yeah this, is a, this, is a man that, yeah, this is a man who had a mental breakdown and has now got to fuck off to find himself, uh, decided to pick the next leader of Asgard. Can we talk about the amazing acting range of Tessa Thompson? Ooh. <laughs> sure. She is one of the greatest actresses of all time. I'm going to show you. Mm. I'm gonna show She's you. pretty good on the casting couch. Uh, that's fine. Oh, oh. oh. Hang on. Oh, oh, there it is, right there. I uh, mean, extra no, girl that cracked you up. You're just honest. I'm not mean. I'm just honest. I'm going to make sure I'm not my messages here. The amazing acting range of one Tessa Thompson. She can keep her face the same expression <laughs> wow. in multiple films. How many actors? And I mean, aside from the entire cast of the Eternals. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, she could look both bored and indifferent. Dude, She's there's, amazing. A, there's a thing when I was playing a stream of the Lego game that people noticed that like the Lego expressions for Daisy Ridley was so much better than her in the film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh no! no. <laughs> oh Daisy! Uh, At um, one point, it looked angry. Mm -hmm. It was like, whoa! <laughs> the, the Lego piece is angry. You you know what? <laughs> I, I I was a bit of a, a fan of that character, like Korg or whatever it was, it was called, like the first five minutes I met him. And now he's in like every fucking movie. It's like, can we like not? I, I don't like Korg anymore. Like, no. Like, he was fun for like five minutes in that yeah. prison with Thor. And now it's like, let's go on an adventure together every five minutes. It's like, But that's oh. Taika Waititi. Yeah, it's like and, a and little he must, self -insert. He must be in his own film because 
I'm he's amazing. It's just another fucking Hollywood narcissist. He yeah. is. It's, and it's so like it, it's just it, it's annoying. It's like a self insert as a rock creature. And he's like, I'm just going to be in my own movies now. It's like even when M. Night Shyamalan or whatever his name is did it, it was only for like five seconds when he would, oh, you know, man, cameo in his movies. You to make that comparison m knight put himself in lady in the water as like a misunderstood chosen one prophecy person who's a genius and the future of mankind or whatever <laughs> I, I feel like that's a little worse <laughs> like, no but he does it for like five seconds in every it movie it's worse you know? but it was leading up to it was leading up to that it's like i'm gonna put myself in every movie then i'm gonna make myself like Freaking Jesus! Do you guys remember when, uh, <laughs> Jesus. M, M Night put in a, a a movie critic character who's an asshole and gets eaten? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that. Yeah, M Night. M Night's a funny man. M Night is so <laughs> stupid. I hate that guy. He ruined Avatar. I was like, I'm I'm out on you. Never again. Hate that guy. No, and he then just he gave, ruined he Glass gave too. A twist. That's all. The twist was it was nothing like Avatar. No, and also he ruined like Unbreakable with Glass. That was a fucking terrible movie. Yeah, well, Mahler, please tell me you don't like that movie. I love Unbreakable. Actually. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I do okay, too. Me awesome. too. I do. Um, me too. Split, I'm like 50 50 on. <laughs> you, you're split on it? Yeah. yeah. I, and then I went to the cinema to see Glass with a friend of mine who was like, maybe this, this is a script from back in the day that he's making, so maybe it'll be strong. I fucking hated that movie. Thank God you hated it. I fucking hated that movie. They didn't even watch ruined it. it. I I didn't watch it. I didn't want to ruin Unbreakable, dude. Don't, Gary. David Dunn is like one of the most awesome sort of non, you know, like original superheroes from just a movie and stuff. And he drowns in a puddle. Mm -hmm. He literally that's, drowns that's in a puddle. End of his puddle. story. And when you do that, you basically just encourage people to go, nah, that's that's not canon. No. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, not canon better. for me. I, I wiped that fucking movie out of my mind. I was like, no, this did this did not happen. It's like Chandler and Friends. No. <laughs> oh, you know what? I want to moon moon night. I'm not done with Moon Knight. Back, now. <laughs> oh. back, back over to Moon Knight. We're circling back like Jen Saki. Circle back, Moon Knight. Uh, so everybody figured out a big twist already that there's a third personality that everybody knew, right? And then they're, they're, they're going to drop the name and everybody's going to go, who? <laughs> who? Because they don't know that like Jake Lockley has changed like four or five times throughout the uh the multiple runs of Moon Knight there is. Uh, Marvel never knew what to do with Moon Knight, right? So people would pick it up because they love it's a great concept. It's a great concept that's never been full. I mean, a same argument can be made with Ghost Rider. Uh, Ghost Rider had two yeah. pretty decent runs, but there's no like seminal Ghost Rider. There's a couple of really good stories. I like the comic book, it's one of my favorite characters, but there's still like there's still the best Ghost Rider story out there. There's still the best uh, Moon Knight story out there. Although, you know, there, there's some really good stuff on that first run. But, um, yeah, they, they're they they're not working with any of it. So Jake Lockley is going to be probably this murderous, toxic male piece of shit. Like that, that, um, that Conchu is keeping from Mark Spector. So, or Mark Spector is keeping from himself. It depends on how it goes. Uh, and that's what that will be your fight club moment. Um, and I see other people always thinking of better ideas than what we see on screen. Um, <laughs> and I heard you guys talking on EFA. It was fucking brilliant. Mahler. Oh my. The first episode you show Stephen Grant's perspective. Second episode you show Mark Spector's perspective. Oh. Mm -hmm. That was fucking awesome. That would have been great. And that's a way to save money, too. It's actually a way to save money. But instead, they they went really cheap. That's why they didn't show the gods when that when Mark Spector was switching back and forth. That was clearly a budget decision. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you could have shown Mark flirting with the girl asking her out on a date. You could have shown all that kind of setup yeah. from Mark's perspective in the uh, museum. Then you could have then you could obviously have the moments where he's looking into the mirror at yeah. Steven, from his perspective, ass. oh man, that would have been, that that been, really been clever. 
But they wanted to do that inception thing that they were like, let's be creative and like do it like in within an in. And then we don't know if it's a dream or if it's another personality. You we still don't know. You could still do that without knowing. I mean, part, one of th another thing that made inception work and fight club work was music pacing, editing, like some of the best ever. Right. Uh, and, and they just don't have that. They don't have the talent to do it. The directing is awful. It's clunky. The editing is fucking worse. And yeah. Yeah. There's the, good acting. There's decent acting. That's, that's the music that. is probably the only thing I like about Moon Knight, though. Also, maybe, maybe it's a little bit of the Middle Eastern in me, but I'm like, oh, I kind of like this person. The it's fucking the girl, man. Why is she there? <laughs> oh, just oh the, god, she's terrible. Ruined, she's ruined the whole thing. Just ruined the whole fucking thing because you've got this character that's pretty complex with these multiple personalities plus the god aspect plus the fucking villain and the plot. And then you've just literally gone, now we're chucking a woman in and giving her as much agency as fucking you have. Plus we're saying that the god Conchu wants her to be the avatar for him. Uh, and his. And it's just like, oh, you're just pissing all over your fucking main character. That's all you're doing. And, and they don't want to do damsels in distress anymore because it's just like, oh, that's bad. You can't do a damsel in distress. What's wrong with a bit of a damsel in distress story once in a while? Fuck, we haven't had one in years. And then this woman hasn't heard from her husband for months. She knows that he's putting on a fake accent, according to her, because she knows who Mark Spector is. So he's putting on a fake accent. He's pretending not to know her. She knows, therefore, he's in danger because uh, she's like, oh, he's playing. He's playing and he's in danger because he's not being Mark. He's playing this other character. I got to go help him. I'll track his phone because he's turned the phone on. So he wants me to track the phone. So she goes to him. And then she's like, oh, I found you. Uh, here's our divorce papers. <laughs> uh, does anybody have any doubt, right, of what Mark Spector is hiding from her? Like small any dick. doubt at all? <laughs> it's really small fucking penis. Like her father was murdered. Oh, yeah. We don't yeah. wonder who done it. Like, who done it? Gary, who done I don't it? Oh, give no. a fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, I didn't, I, I didn't ask if you cared. <laughs> okay. I guess you would have to care to want to answer the question. Yeah, you have to care about the characters to give a shit about these sort of things. Um, Some mopey fucking bitch that just <laughs> turns up with fucking divorce papers, looks at fish, what? and then fucking says, I'm going to be the bestest fucking ever. Oh, by the way, villain, have a fucking golden scarab. I brought it with me for some fucking reason. For some reason, here it is. It's a fucking retarded thing. Uh, uh, oh. My dad's been killed. Oh, has he? Fucking hopefully you're next, bitch. <laughs> and for some no. reason, there was like a whole like 10, <laughs> what was it? 10, 15 minutes of the episode was like her making a fake passport. What is this? Look at these amazing women. They can do criminal law, break law. <laughs> women. Crime. I found that way more interesting yeah. than what they were talking about. I was just like, oh, that's how you make a fake passport. Me yes. too, Mahler. I was like, what is this right now? It isn't to make a fake passport. Why be bothered by that? They they can't even get the Chinese language right. You think they got making a fucking passport <laughs> right? No, they didn't. <laughs> Dude, when Not I tried to explain that, easier, everybody would do it. Okay, Jesus Christ! I was just when like, I tried to explain happening? that to the guys on EFAB, they were just like, "What do you mean? They, how how could that possibly happen?" And I was like, "Because they, yeah, they fucked but up." I got like, I got a question though. Why does she need a fake passport? Yeah, we didn't get an explanation as to why she needed a fake passport yeah, at all. We, like we know Mark's got different personalities, Mark's so, that you know, we know that, but why does she need another passport? And Maybe. then when she turns up, she's like, Oh, because I've made a few enemies. Yeah, so that what was... that doesn't affect your fucking passport. <laughs> yeah, like or what are you on a list? Like, yeah. I don't understand. Like, what are the enemies? The government? I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. Egypt, it's Egypt. They have a new government like every 10 years. <laughs> <Every five times. laughs> 10 years, 10 fucking minutes. <laughs> yeah, 10 minutes. Saying. I mean, I, I can't wait to go to your beautiful country. Please and get I blown up in a bus. Yeah. Uh, Dude. Uh, and, I mean, it, there, was, there was some bad stuff in there, but um, I do like her hair. I think she's uh, got oh extremely nice hair. Women. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah. hair. I could see now. myself <laughs> in her. I could see myself in her if she had just fucking shut up for five Hello. minutes. Oh, Hello. my Hello. God. They should have. They absolutely should have. That is. Extra good. Stop laughing. Stop, it's not. Stop laughing. I'm not saying it. Okay. 
they they i mean they literally did the, the ching chong thing they made shit up <laughs> what? <laughs> they, they, what? they did x-ray girl in the first episode first episode they go me hi she so shy <laughs> one of my friends has just texted me to take the piss out of fucking nina saying i liked her hair <laughs> nina you're losing the audience here you gotta say you're here okay <laughs> <laughs> She's terrible, but I've, I've really, seriously got no problem with her hair. But um, I think that's <laughs> lovely, Nina. It's lovely. <laughs> She's She's an awful actress, such a redeeming oh feature of the God. fucking plot and the fucking tv it was theory it was important. nina just pulled out her girl card it's like ah she's a total bitch but god she's got fierce hair she does. <laughs> fierce i can finally my see wife myself does it all in the time. her my wife does it all the time it's like oh i can't stand her but god damn as a woman of frizzy <laughs> hair i finally <laughs> see myself on screen <laughs> i can relate and, to and her oh it's, my it's, god it's always the hair or the eyebrows like if, if there's like if a woman has nice eyebrows i'll be like her, I fucking hate her character, but her eyebrows are on point. And my husband's always like, who gives a shit about her fucking <laughs> yeah. eyebrows? Good on the husband. Women care. Women care. As, as a woman who doesn't have great eyebrows, I get it. Your eyebrows are fine. Oh, what's, what's wrong with your eyebrows? Your eyebrows are great. Wow, X -ray girl. Stop shit on X -ray oh my eyebrows. god, welcome to the real BBC. We, we give you fucking makeup tips and hair tips every oh, week. Hey. Uh, x ray girl, your eyebrows are not as good as Mahler's, but I mean, yeah. that's not <laughs> mine double is like wet mine are what? I've got yes. one that's kind of like sort of roundish, and then this one's like angular, like <laughs> <laughs> mine are always behind my glasses, so it doesn't. I've matter. never had a single fucking comment in 10 years on YouTube of my fucking eyebrows. You're going to now, going to probably now. I am, yeah. 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 oh yeah, I never realized you had a wonky eyebrow. I thought. <laughs> it kind of goes never mind i was gonna be mean but i the bb she that's what it's turned into yes you're right it is i'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry. well no that. i'm not i'm not sorry <laughs> it's like i'm married to a hairdresser you don't think i hear this stuff like all day oh my god look at, look at her jeans she should not be wearing those all kinds of stuff it's like a caddy it's a caddy reality show with melissa all day long it's kind of funny melissa sounds like a lot of fun i'd love to hang out with she her is. what do you think i get like i we we sn out try to out snark each other that's where i hone my craft i want to i want to actually talk to her because you know what never mind i'm not going to derail in the show anymore <laughs> are you wax are you just uh maybe you should pencil your eyebrows in a little bit just sculpting, uh, them, sculpting them i'm sculpting them i want to get her opinion about making my hair lighter thought. Thank you, darling. Yeah, going lighter. Okay. A little bit she, more blonde. God. I'm so glad. I'm so right. I, I tell you what, Nina. For a balayage? <laughs> if I was in the cinema with you and we were, and it was Moon Knight the film and you went, I liked the hair, I would have fucking left you. <laughs> like in the theater, you would have walked out. I would have got up and fucking let. I'm, I'm just going to the toilet. Fucking, I'm, I'm out the door. I'm out the door. I've driven off. I'm gone. <laughs> and then you're gonna be like, he's hanging along, he's hanging shit. And then you, you know, and then I don't turn back up. And then you go outside to the car park and fucking empty. Hmm. And then where, where are you? Where are where are you? Ring, ring, ring. Where are you? Oh, oh that's Nina. Uh, you, you're gonna ghost me based on the hair comment? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. In a superhero film? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Athena on one hundred dollars. Been binging on Koreans. Oh, 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 no. oh no! Lucky oh, you! <laughs> wow! <laughs> on Netflix, lady, better stories, no woke agenda, great stuff. Hashtag alive. Uh, Sismixus. I don't even know how to say that. King's Avatar, Silent Sea, and all of us mm. are dead. I want to oh, see that one. That I highly so recommend. Good. Hail to all in chat and hot dog. That's you. What dog? Thank you. I love the silence. You rule. I got, yeah, I got, is all of us are dead good? You've seen it. So good. So I haven't good. seen it yet. Uh, Drinker said it was great. It was, uh, all um, I've heard is good things about it. That's all I've heard. It's the first zombie mo uh, show I've seen that like acknowledges they know things about zombies. Oh, okay. I think that's pretty cool. That's cool. And it's like, it's a period piece, right? Is Or is it? Take place is that the one that takes place in the past? What's the one that takes place in the no. past? medieval times? Oh, kingdom, kingdom, kingdom. yeah, that's, that's great. Too. 
That's yeah, really season good. One's, season one's great. Ah, uh, season two. This season two starts off really good. Season, uh, yeah, the first episode for sure. I really like that episode. To be fair, I don't want to be too uh, mean. Ian so forth for ten British pounds says. P.S. As his eyebrows, they're on point. <laughs> You're right, Ian. You're oh, right. I love Ian. Thank you, Ian. Hey, um, Athenon, watch um, Hellbound. Uh, and watch uh, Alice in Borderland. Mm. Mm -hmm. I still gotta watch that. Still that's know. Japanese, not Korean, but that's fucking great as well. Though. Is it oh. Sissy Muxus? Sissy Mux? Sissy, oh, I, I don't know. I don't know that Sissy one. Muxus? What does that mean? How do you say that? Sissy Muxus. Oh, Sissy Muxus. Sissy Muxus. Silent Sea was great. Silent Sea <laughs> is the reason why I bought this fucking Lego like set because it just reminded me of oh, the, cool. uh, <laughs> the moon oh base. God. That's so hilarious. I just had to I had to get this uh, moon base research center. That's dope. Look, look at this. Look at this. That's you cool. see that dope? This is dope. Look. Hold on. Wait. Oh, oh. It opens up Blow so you can up. go inside. Yeah. Boom. I like things that open up so you can go inside. I know. Yeah, oh, baby. Help, help. Dude, that looks like uh, kind of like the Satan Pit thing from Doctor Who, too. The torch yes. Looks, yes. Yeah. <laughs> the observatory, right? Or they can see. Yeah, 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 yeah. So That's... there's just like lots of little little things. When I saw this, I was just like, That's cool. going to give me fond memories, that is. Uh, da -da -da -do -ba -do. I really liked Silent Sea. That was... Uh, if, if, I, I don't it was good. Um, Solid. Yeah, so we got another Moon Knight episode, what, tomorrow? Tonight? Tomorrow, tomorrow? yeah. I ain't watching it. I will. I'm, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it. I think I, I want to know what happens. coverage because I want to talk a lot about how much they fucked this up again. Dude, sixth do. show in a row. I like, know. They clearly don't know what the fuck they're doing. Like, Kevin Feige was put in charge of television and comic books. Comic books, um, as far as books are concerned, Marvel did not list a single book that it produced, not licensed out, but that it produced on the top 750 of the fucking book scan charts. Uh, their TV shows will run like fucking shit. And he's in charge of all of it. He is the he is the grand poobah of Marvel. Uh, and yeah, so look for him to retire soon. <laughs> Because he's probably like, he's just out of his fucking league, man. You can't just like, and I think a lot of companies, you know, who aren't well versed on making television shows, it, you know, you got to know what you're doing. It's a craft. There's a reason they have showrunners and some do, you know, writers' rooms because it's worked over fucking years. And then you got Kevin Feige, who's mostly produced movies, come in and start, well, we're not going to have showrunners, we're going to have head writers. We're going to treat as showrunners, but we're not going to pay them as much, but we're going to expect them to see the whole thing through, even though we're only paying them to write the first and last episode. <clears throat> oh, you didn't know that's what was happening? That's what's happening. That's what's I... happening. It's fucking cheap. These motherfuckers hire their, they cast their diversity hires because it saves them money. And then Kevin Feige gives them plot points. And then if he does a diversity hire that say wants to change something, they go, no. I get really annoyed at everyone who says like, oh, like, you know, this is Taika Waititi. He's going to do so much better for like, because he's he's such a good director and he's going to make Thor work. And I'm like, you know, I don't give a shit how good of a director. Even if Scorsese came along, I was like, I'm going to work with a shit script with identity politics and all this shit. No one's going to polish that turd, man. Like, it's just going to be a turd. It's just, it's going to be a piece of shit movie. I don't care who you are. And Taika Waititi is no exception. I I I don't think like I I just don't think Thor is going to be that great. I really don't. It, his last one was cartoonish. It wasn't like totally horrible. You know, I I walked out of it liking it, but I never watched it again. Which one? Uh, Ragnarok. I never watched it again. Oh. I like Jojo uh, Rabbit. Like Jojo. I love Jojo Rabbit. Jojo was Rabbit. Good. I thought it was great. Um, I thought it was I, great. What we do in the I, shadows? Uh, good shit. You know, I just I, uh, I what we do in the shadow is just good. I like that. Yeah, uh, like I'm assuming we, we would apply the same thing to Sam Raimi. It's just like, will he manage to break through Marvel's sort of obsessive formulas? It's like, <laughs> I doubt it. You no, know, I, 
I'd like him to, but <laughs> I it's just like I said last week or the week before, whenever. It's just a just feels like an assembly line now. Yeah. It does. I, and I, I don't know. No, I was just gonna say if if it leads to Sam Raimi doing like a Spider Man four with Toby, then uh I'll be happy about that. That Spider Man behind you is fucking dope. Well. I know, I love that Spider Man. Yeah, that, I, I want pretty, him as where'd you my get him from? Was he uh so was it in the it, store at some point or was it yes was so it was a promotional thing for um homecoming oh okay. <laughs> that's so, so cool it's a promotional homecoming thing that they only put in certain theaters and a comic shop had it and they had like a fucking harry potter sorting hat on it and a <gasps> captain marvel fanny pack and my son was like pissed he's like get that off Spider-Man. <laughs> 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 and uh and I'm like, ah, it's probably not for sale. It looks because, like, uh, you know, a lot of my, uh, for one, if you own a comic store, everything's for sale. Everything's for sale. You put a fucking price that you just put it really high if you don't want it really to sell. But you put a price that you're willing to give it up. But it was for sale. Uh, their Silver Surfer was not for sale. Spider-Man was. And I'm like, well, how much is it? And they told me a great price because the finger was broken. So I just put a little red tape on the finger and fixed it. Nice. Yeah, it's like a foam rubber. It's, they... Uh, I forgot who the manufacturer was. Nika or Mezco? Nika. Nika makes a Batman one in one scale from Arkham yeah. Asylum. That's the same kind of thing. It's like molded foam, so it's not that heavy. But the, the, the detail on it's great. It's fucking great. Has Melissa ever walked into the office like late at night and then yes. like turned on the light and been like, bah! Because it's, it's like standing. <laughs> it's funny. Has, ever, has Melissa ever walked into the office late at night, turned the light on, and caught you making out with Spider Man? Oh yes! Oh. <laughs> I knew it. This is I went knew it. I knew it all place I did not expect. No. <laughs> oh, I I dropped my contact lens. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> you don't I have. Thought it was you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, do you have a do you have one of those uh, stand up figures uh, for Wonder Woman by any chance? Not. Okay. I do not. Would Melissa Wonder allow Wonder that Woman. in the house? Probably. Did you see the, the Wonder Woman bust that uh, Queen Studio did with the um, what's what's the uh, Linda the Carter? Mysterious? No, they did. It was Gal Gadot, and they did um, uh, titty implants. So, what's it, latex? Like a not latex, but oh, they, they're like doing a, that. Yeah, like they're a silicon, that. like a silicon. They're doing that with Gandalf. The yes. Gand oh. yes. 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 So but, it's like you know, yeah. one so in like, one though, you know. <laughs> and, uh, it's it's yeah. getting weird. Pretty soon the figures are just gonna start moving and talking and playing, like being well, like, they do if you've got an app on your phone. Well, my um uh, mine does, yeah. My bro, who was uh, up the other uh week last week, he um we just put like one of my statues up. We put the series statue up and the um the prime one statue, and he got he has this app on his phone. And he like took a. He was like recording the face. I was like, "What are you doing?" He's like, eh. "And then he, then he came to me and he pressed play, and she was talking." That's so creepy. It yeah. makes the face like move and like her eyes are, like moving in the mouth. It's just like, wow, oh, that's what? so creepy. I saw one of those uh, dolls in a special store, and uh -huh. it was the first time I'd ever seen one, and it was really realistic. I was like, "This is so creepy!" Like, it's just, it was. It, it was extremely creepy. And they are going to start moving around soon. Oh. So they have those now, but like in the shape of Wonder Woman and like Gandalf. That's yeah, the Gandalf one I ordered for sure. Feminists, be careful because, you know, a guy, he's, we're getting to a stage where a guy's just going to pick a doll over you because, you know, um, you're fucking obnoxious. Yeah, we are. That's kind of <laughs> happened already. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that is. Uh, that's a thing already, as. Is it? Yeah, as good with yeah. the times. Oh, sorry. Can somebody give me a website? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a guy riding around with his fake girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, you know, the guy who married it. And then he had an affair with the fucking trash can. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Did he hear? He's then, right. This guy marries his blow up doll, like his sex doll. It's not blow up doll. It's like, a, it's like a sex doll. He marries her. This bodybuilder, weird as fuck, obviously. And then she goes, <laughs> this is the worst thing. She has to go in for repair. Uh, and then yeah. the guy he's like having having photographs have been taken 
with a fucking one of those like stand up ashtrays. And he's like, oh, I'm at a stand up ashtray in a nightclub and we've just been together ever since. He cheated on her. Yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. He did. He cheated on her with a fucking ashtray. Yeah, and then he that. broke up with the ashtray, though, and got back together with her. Oh, did he? Yeah. Well, oh, I didn't why, know that why, part of the story. Why hasn't this been adapted into a, okay. the MCU yet? Oh, it's personally <laughs> it's happening yet. I think this is what they're going to do um, with uh, Ant Man. He's going to. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I just picked a random character. Um, Scott <laughs> Bothrop. You picked the right one. That was funny. Yeah, I thought, well, that is most likely, I think. <laughs> Um, Scott Vakra for 10 British pounds. That's proper money. That's the Thank proper you. money today. Proper money's clean. Yeah, yeah. Proper money's good. Thank you very much, Scott. Appreciate you. Appreciate my Brits. Mahler, I appreciate you. My The Welsh. <laughs> That's I, really the, do. I appreciate Aww. my Americans. There's lots Marvel. of Americans out there. I don't can't know about that. I can't don't wait know. to I meet Mahler. Know. Can't wait to meet him in person. It's, it's, it's going to be cool. We'll watch awesome. a movie together. Hey, uh, the masks are off plane, so my wife and I had a very serious to go. flying to the UK. So we're going to book a flight, uh, and if it, there's no fucking dumb variants come up or anything, uh, so we don't because we had one, we had to cancel one. Uh, the Wales Comic Con is in December. I'm I'm shooting for it. I'm going, and I'm accepted as press already there. Ooh. So sweet. There you go. You know, you know what's so crazy is because they're supposed to get rid of the mask man or not mask mandate sorry the the vax mandate on the 23rd supposedly for tourists but then they they announced that on the 19th which is today actually they're going to be having a mm. meeting about it to discuss things further before mm. they that go through that me. yeah so they might stop well, that maybe i can go to oh i can't even talk i can't even joke about that can i if i joke about like getting something fake no don't joke about it yeah. don't do it it was just what? a joke uh okay so what? I was a fake uh you know like we got the we saw the fake passport in moon night yeah, yeah. like like what we used to use as fake. a kid to go to a club you know a fake id yeah fake id yeah dude i had a a, a fake id so I, I, knew, I knew guys who like made it was easier to make them back in the 80s okay because they weren't like this super lenticular thing that they got now <laughs> Dude, I had because uh, I I worked at Blockbuster, so we had the lam the automatic laminator cards. So let's just say it was it was easy to make fake ideas. Speaking ID, so. of cards, I got a card sent to my PO box today from a chappy called <clears throat> I think it's meant to be Sci Fi Cola, but the the printing has put Sci If Cola. Uh, and look at this card oh wow wow this is uh this is a show that we had in the uk called the generation game with bruce forsyth so that's bruce forsyth and then it was like couples would come on there and of course we've got beverly and uh -huh. jean luke oh i need that chess set table i like that I chess know. set table that's fucking dope Hey, you know, Cisco, Cisco went up for a pre-order today on X06. Oh, I'm gonna have to wait till he's second hand. I'm not giving them money. Uh, and he also, uh, they also, because I don't know if it's a, a, a dude or not, uh, they called themselves a plain and simple fan. Um, sent me a, um, a tube of uh, shortbread biscuits as well. Ooh, ah. Nice. <sighs> And I, I I ate a couple on on a members video that I did today. One the, the Ghostwire playthrough. They're spoiling you. Oh, yeah. they were so good. Oh, they would like. Oh, they're gonna Did be lucky to last the weekend. Do uh, not as come. As I, Do not come. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. <laughs> Do not come. He's gonna come. Not come. <laughs> I'm gonna blow. <laughs> Uh, Scott Vakra says Whitaker and Chibnall's deserved legacy. Lowest ever and deserved. The game is over. Mm. The real fans have won. Hail William Hartnell. William Hartnell is the first doctor. Gonna, that, that's I'm never going to change. <laughs> that's never going to change. Hartnell number one. Time will tell if we won on this one. Um, but we were right. I said it on my stream. I'm like, take, you know what? If there's any solace you can take out of this, after all the accusations and shit, you were right all along. We were right 
all along. We said it would end up like this, and this is exactly how thousands of us predicted it would end. Yeah, Chipnell understands. He's not a stupid person. He understands how important it is for the Doctor to remain anonymous. He, he understands how important it is for us to not know too much about the history of the Doctor, the name of the Doctor, all this sort of business. So the only reason to do what he did was for the BBC's identity politicking. That is the only reason to do that. Because the BBC were embarrassed about their white history of Doctor Who. Is this is this our way of entering the topic of the new Doctor Who episode? Because, God, it was yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was. It was just, I, I could barely concentrate on it. I was so bored. Oh, it only took about 15 minutes before I was asking Jay, like, what is happening? Like, I, I couldn't follow the plot. I, it's so gobbled and nonsense. The fact that, isn't it Pirate Queen is like, oh, I want to find treasure. And then she's like, let's go back in time to see where the ship sank so that we can tell it directly where. It, I was like, what? Is that something that you typically do in Doctor Who? You will travel back in time to find buried treasure to help a pirate who threatened to kill people to get the treasure? That's the. Uh, Okay. But then she changed to, oh, I'm trying to get my crew back. Well, they made her super nice. <laughs> and they even had to say, like, I, I regret not saving your father or something. I was like, you wouldn't give a fuck. <laughs> you, you would just be no. like, whatever. It's it's Madam Ching. For one, she was in Pirates of the Caribbean. She's a historic figure. Uh, and she was an honorable... She was an honorable pirate. What's so funny? I think I know. <laughs> Because I said her name, Madam Ching. That's oh, her name. No, no, no. no. Oh. Gosh. It's not so, you, Gary. Gary, it's not you. It's me. Okay. It's not you. It's me. It's me. <laughs> Are we done? Uh, we put we wanna, no. Uh, private chat. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, we're not. <laughs> Gary, just get it out of the way. Oh, no. <laughs> wow we can't see uh, the whole picture we need to see no. the whole picture oh, oh you gotta on. click it just click it scroll down oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, how could you do it, excellent? Except it'd be a Molotov. Dang it'd me. be a Molotov. Molotov. You know oh. what? As you've been triggering me in your Last of Us playthroughs, we say Molotov every time. What's this to it's Tov? Molotov. Molotov. I'm gonna kill you. Molotov. Wow. Molotov. 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 That's the like thing that. that triggered you in the Last of Us 2 playthrough? Yep. Everything else is great. Everything else <laughs> Holy is top shit. notch. <laughs> uh, sorry, Gary. I think, I think we can establish, Mola, I have terrible trouble understanding how to pronounce words. I didn't understand any of that. <laughs> <laughs> in my Pierce, world, it's Sunday. Here's Franzensen. What do you call it? And you called him Piers <laughs> Bronson. <laughs> <laughs> Piers Bronson. Oh, what, Piers. what you mean, Piers Brosnan, Gary? Oh yeah, yeah, him. And I want to say Bronson because the real one's Charles Bronson. Charles right? Bronson. That's a motherfucking man right there. He's dead man, but he's he's still a man. Uh, I forgot where where we were. Uh, Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Doctor Who. Bad. bad. Doctor Who. Bad. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> Doctor Who. Man. Bad. Mm. You no, said about Ching. Uh, yeah, Madam Ching was the historic figure. Who, I mean, she was honorable, but she also uh, beheaded anybody who would disobey her order, even if it was a family member. So, I mean, there's that. Uh, plus, her history has been slightly uh, over exaggerated over the years. But uh, yeah, she was a female pirate who can apparently, in Doctor Who, sail a ship by herself, a pirate ship. Now, I'm not a sailor. I would say you would at least need, what, 20 people to sail one of those ships? Maybe I'm way off. Somebody tell me. I in the watched. Chat. Pirates of the Caribbean, and you need like how many do they say to to move a ship around and stuff? It's like ten or something at least. You need more than one for sure. You need more yeah. than one, and it like even with a smaller crew, it's not going. It's like might go straight for a little while. 
but you'd be exhausted, right? I mean, uh, but hey, six. Somebody said six. Uh, a, a little girl can teach herself to sail in Picard. So it's all good. A 10-year-old by herself. Which goes along with... Um, I'm making a list of all the self-taught Marvel characters. Oh, uh, we got uh, we got older. Well, do, I'm I'm working <laughs> on video, so I got notes. So we got older Wasp, who who made herself into a god, right? And Ant Man and the Wasp. She was yeah. trapped. She was trapped Michelle in the Pfeiffer. Yeah. What the fuck was it called again? I'm blanking. Damn it! I'm getting old. The it Quantum was, Realm. Quantum Realm, and she became yeah. She just learned how to become a god on her on her own. Then Freckle Jesus, Easy, started, dude, come on, man. Freckle Jesus started a criminal criminal organization at the age of sixteen, uh, <laughs> and and like in in like an anarchist world where stuff is going crazy. This little girl like was able to like beat up large men and become the the respect. She was the bestest ever. Leader. Uh, Zay Ling, she, she died she, for your sins, by the sister. Way. At mm. at the age of what eleven was able to start a full-blown criminal organization and fight an online fighting streaming service on the dark web in an entire building at the age of 11 or 12 i believe and then uh, i mean it's beautiful and then like the most competent one was um monica rambo's mom who built sword by herself she went to home depot and built it by herself it's amazing echo built the gang Oh, she, uh, she was the head of a. I gotta write that down. Head of another. Echo, group. the the one legged mute built a a fearsome gang. You guys are forgetting about Agatha all along too. Was Agatha, was Agatha all, all along? along. Uh, you you you've also not said uh, female Loki who taught herself magic mm. at the age of six. Oh, How did you right. miss that? I did have that by have, herself. Have written down. I have okay, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. my personal favorite. I think that's my favorite too, Mahler. It's a good one. It's yeah. just, I know so many girls who've had that exact same story that is just disappeared. I've had that what story. About Ray Skywalker, who just sat on her ass on a desert but knew how to bypass the compressor I buy and uh, fucking do the Jedi mind trick on her own. And like, yeah. That female Loki variant made absolutely no sense because they never even explained if she was actually a frost giant or not or whatever the, those things were called. Why would Loki they bother actually... explaining anything? That's boring. No. Hella is supposed extra. to be part frost giant. She had a vagina. Hella's supposed That's to be all the explanation okay. you'll ever need in Marvel. That's true. Yep. It's true. Yep. Which oh, is kind also, of quite interesting because we they can't even define what a fucking woman is. We were also <laughs> told as um, behind the scenes that her costume was easily able to show the boob because she was pregnant at the time and had to breastfeed on set. Who's that? I, didn't, I huh? didn't know that you breastfed when you were pregnant. <laughs> well, she was pregnant while shooting and then gave birth and then had to. Who was that? Who? The Loki lady. She Female. made a big deal out of her costume, being able to be freeing and allow the breasts to pop out so that she could breastfeed on set. Sylvie? Now, yeah, Sylvie. Yeah. I don't remember wearing anything. I'm she, in, in the beginning, she must have been pregnant when she was wearing like the... the all the, the clothes but i am all oh. for i am all for easily accessible breasts hmm. yeah that's a policy i can get behind but yeah. they never showed anything fun though that's a policy i can get my teeth around the, the most fun on that show was gator loki and old man loki sorry i'm just saying these things to see the reaction of x-ray go i know it changes so dramatically that's funny Oh no, we have another. I need to learn how to be like uh, Tessa Thompson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you need to just poke face. Yeah, you need to work on your poker face, girl. Uh, here, there's a new original character in. Uh... Thanks to Lady Gravemaster, by the way, who shot me this. Shout out, Lady Gravemaster. That's a new that. original character. Uh, I don't fucking know. His name is Theo. What is this, Lord of the Rings? Yeah. Or what? Oh. He's holding oh. a broken sword. That's a uh, that's uh, a that's dildo, Gary. Not the shards of Narsil, though. That can't be it. That that, that might be uh that might be that might it's be a MacGuffin. The, might be Galadriel still. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Galadriel still though. She's a warrior. She's oh, a warrior. Oh no! Oh my God. 
She don't need no man. Don't need no. I don't need no man. I can't do that. I don't need no blackmail elf. Who's Kelleborn? I want to know who Kelleborn is because I have a feeling they're leaving him out of the fucking show altogether. That looks like a painful dildo, though. Just saying. It probably is. But that's probably what watching Rings of Power is going to feel like on all. Oh, of them. hell yeah, it is. Hey, oh. Up the wrong ones. <laughs> so, yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Lady Grave Master. Yeah, thanks, Lady Grave Master. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, though, I love you. Theo, um, uh, Amazon original character in Lotta Rop. And her reaction is, um, uh, yeah, um, uh, bullshit. Uh, it's okay. I, I have a feeling we're getting a, another trailer soon. After they, they after they recut it, isn't one enough? <laughs> they got to recut the shit out of everything now. Um, oh, you mean Lord of the Rings trailer? Okay, yeah, we yeah. are. Well, five months and counting. I, say, I hope the birdie doesn't get mad at me, but the birdie, a birdie, told me something. Oh. I mean, I trust this birdie. This birdie's watching, by the way. So don't out yourself, birdie. Um, that some of the characters that we saw in the trailer aren't really that significant in the show. They, they. So th now I'm now. This is my speculation beyond what the birdie told me. The birdie, the birdie said that some of the characters are not that significant in the show. So my speculation is that of what we said when As and I first saw it. They prioritize these characters to show that we're diverse and amazing. Mm -hmm. And then like you're not really going to they're not going to be in the show that much or they're not going to be a huge part of the show. That remains to be seen. I mean, one, the the Sylvan Elf Elf <laughs> who went to the Sylvan Elf barbershop was in there twice, you know, because they had to show him with his leg chained. So I don't know. I, I, I have the feeling the black female dwarf is barely going to be in it. Like she'll probably be in a scene or two. That's my guess. Um, but I know the female hobbit like is a huge part of the story. Like she's basically the Frodo of this story. And they're bringing it and they're bringing another wizard in who could be anybody or another made up character. I don't fucking know. It's Harry Wait, Potter. Gildalf. <laughs> Girldoff, <laughs> it's Galdoff, 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 Galdoff. Yeah, um, maybe. With a beard, too. No, I think it's a dude. I'm pretty sure it's a dude. It's probably going to be one of the others. Um, it could be a lot of. It could be a lot of entities. We'll just say. Just say, man. Um, Gandalf's been a guy for a long time. I think it's about time. You know. I think so. Mm. I even gave Not them. Run. They can do it. Well, no, that was in the first age. He wasn't around. I well, feel like I he was around. They're definitely going to do the rainbow wizardry now, too. Like, they'll be like, it's the colors of the rainbow. The S Saruman of many colors. Mm -hmm. Rainbow. <laughs> I was just going to share this with you, Gary, because um, you are. We're not done with Doctor Who. Oh, so, no, it's okay. It's okay. We barely started on Doctor Who. <laughs> Uh, retweet this gif of strong women to scare the uber geek and nerd Roddick. Uh, it's uh, it's not, it's not, it's it's not doing so good. It's not doing so good. <laughs> you should, uh, you Help should brother like, out. Come on. change oh. your name and profile picture to something generic someday and do this and then see how many people jump on it without realizing it's you. That's a good <laughs> one. <laughs> it would be funny. Like, yeah, fuck nerd Roddick. And you're yeah, like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck me. Watch my next video, Spencer. Yeah, you could do that as well. Like, oh, if you guys sleep. hate him as much as I do. Look, he's released a new video. Look at that. Look, look, watch it. it. Uh, <laughs> I hate it. it. So many properties yeah, living yeah. rent free in. Yes. I like I like this one because we're going back to Doctor Who. And All these... uh, this one's great. I'm sorry, Nina. I'm scared of you. It's okay. <laughs> Strunk woman. Calm down. Oh shit. Make Doctor Who great again. <laughs> <laughs> Is it even possible, though? Is it even? Uh, I don't know. That's the question. Because um, the UK rating, I don't know if the Consolidated didn't come out yet, so that's seven days, right? Uh, mm -hmm. We got 2.2 million overnight in the UK. 
And if it doesn't get 3.1 in the consolidated, which is still bullshit anyway, because those consolidated numbers are from the iPlayer and they're not complete views. They're just people who dipped in for like a minute. Mm -hmm. Count that as a view. Uh, if they don't get past 3.1, then it's the lowest rated episode of Doctor Who of all time. But can we can we also just say that the 2.2 million overnight is a million lower than her lowest, which is yes. already trash. Yes. That is how bad the drop-off has got. Literally dropped a million from the, from the lowest she's had. That is insane. It's crazy. That is a third of your audience gone. In what I just uh, I just love the idea there will be an uptick for her death. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, yeah. So Dude, true. So Dude true. I haven't watched a single Doctor Who episode after Matt's Matt Smith left. Like I I didn't right. even see Capaldi, and I think I'm going to tune in for when she goes Jesus, out. Jesus, you need to watch Deep Breath right now. Um which is Capaldi's that? first episode as the Doctor. Oh really? You think That's one good? of the fucking best new Who episodes there is. Okay, maybe I'll watch right. that. There we go. Holy shit, that's good. These are the American ratings. All right, for one. Oh my god! So the finale from the 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 festive special, the, it took a month for them to post it because I was oh checking. Oh my god! That demo. demo. Look at the demo drop dropped seventy percent, and <laughs> to let you guys know how the demo works here in America. The 1849 demo is what advertisers base paying or advertising on. Mm -hmm. it's, they don't give a shit about anybody over 49 or under 18 for this show. It is 18 to 49. So that 0 0.03 is the percentage of the entire demographic here in the United States, which is roughly 187 million people, right? So 0.03% of 187 million was like something like 56,000 people. That's how many people watch the fucking show overnight. Oh, 209,000 people. So out of that 209,000, 56,000 were in the 18 to 49 demo. Dude, Mahler gets that in a half an hour in some of his videos and <laughs> in others. I in a couple of videos I've gotten that uh in an hour, 56,000. So, wow. you know, like all, all of us here, uh, my Thor video from yesterday is on 57,000. Yeah. So my like, Will Smith ma video made it to 87. So there, I, yay. So there that's more than the demographic <laughs> of, of Dr. Who, a show that cost millions to make millions. I don't know about that last episode. It looked like it cost a few yeah, hundred okay, quid. Thousands, thousands, <laughs> thousands, maybe. I'll give you that. 70% drop in the fucking demographic. 50% drop in what was clearly an uptick at the end here in America. 422,000 people. Almost a half a million. Uh, but, but if you go back to the history of the show, um, it was getting two, three million people watching it on fucking, like a, on a weird cable channel. Do you uh, think, though, because a lot of people thought... So I got a lot of people saying to me on the last step special is regeneration. They thought they were tuning in for a regeneration. They might have been. That, that, that might, yeah, yeah, that's possible. Uh, can I also point out, uh, Mahler, did you watch Flux? You watch Flux, right? Yes. yes. Did they ever put the universe back together? <laughs> Why would you ask me that question? How would I know the answer to that? I have no clue yeah, what happened in Flux. The answer is no. They did not put the universe back together. There is still only the moon, maybe Jupiter. No, <laughs> Neptune and Earth. Everybody else is dead. Well. They never bothered fixing it. It's dumb. So this episode, the doctor finally changed clothes and culturally appropriated yeah yeah well something was pretty interesting um to me uh you mentioned the editing was garbage did you guys notice the part where they had to get from their ship to the ghost ship thing and um yeah, yeah. basically it's it's kind of like they're they're a good few meters i would say like 10 meters away so they're not jumping that and it's like how are they getting over there wide shot of the two ships and the doctor saying geronimo Yep. And then it cuts. And it's like, excuse me? 
what happened? <laughs> they, they never well, address yeah. it because they don't know how to get them there. Well, I was, was some of the most special fucking TV I've ever seen with with the writers just like I don't know, man. It was special, <laughs> I, I don't know. all right. They didn't bro- bother showing the crew, Madam Ching's crew, that she was so upset for it and needed to get the treasure for it either. <laughs> no, and, it turned up. And the, how about that riveting sword fight between Joey and and I had just watched the Sea Devil episode as well, and I watched Roger Delgado like fence with uh, John Pertwee. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, just, yeah. like brilliant or anything, but like that was on a show with a shoestring budget. And they were able to choreograph a decent enough sword fight to where, and then John Pertwee eats a fucking sandwich at the end because he's a man. Love that dude. And yeah, and that was more convincing than the yeah, modern. Like, a bit of violence always makes me hungry or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> fucking dude, rolls in every way. Also, dude, that's one of the things I hadn't seen any of Pertwee's era. I watched six episodes in a row and I was like, I like this guy. He's a good, I like him as a doctor. He's fun. He's so, you could tell he's like loving the role. Like he absolutely loves playing the doctor. Like the guy's so good at it. So, and, and, you know, he gets a little overshadowed by Baker, you know, deservedly so sometimes, but Pertwee is a goat as well. You could be a goat as well in my brain, in my head canon. Um, yeah, it's it's sad where we're at now. And you got to really wonder if I mean dude, it's got to be David Tennant has to come back. If David Tennant, if David Tennant does not come back, it's a failure. I'll just call it right now. Unless you get some massive star, some like really? massive star to commit for a year or something or two. Could it be worse though if he comes back in terms of like if they Could. fuck him up completely? It's a worry. Yeah. Yeah, it, now uh, if they bring back the meta crisis doctor for a little while, I think that could be fun. Uh, you know that that could even you could even mix that in with like the whole hybrid stupid hybrid thing. Hmm. Um, but like, uh, yeah, they need to bring back Tenet, Matt Smith, Eccleston. I don't Eccleston. think they're gonna bring back Smith because he's doing that HBO thing, right? Like, he, there's, he hinted pretty strongly he'd come back. Like he said, it's the they they asked him if he would Best do a Marvel movie. movie. He, they asked he, him directly, "Would you do another Marvel movie or would you do Doctor Who?" He's a Doctor Who, best job in the world. He hinted at it pretty strongly in Morbius because he literally was the Doctor in Morbius. He was like doing the dance and like everything, and I was like, "This guy wants to be the Doctor again. <laughs> Make him the Doctor." He's acting like the Doctor in the movie. It was pretty funny. Um, but you know what? Like, one of the things that stopped me from like watching Doctor Who again was Clara's character. That whole impossible girl thing. I was like, what is this? Like, I I mean, I think Anna de Armas is hot and I, I thought Clara was hot. But then that whole character arc and the impossible girl, I couldn't stand that shit. That's why I stopped watching. That's not Anna de Armas. That's not her? Which one is no, that? No. <laughs> Clara, right? No. No. <laughs> Which one is her then? I'm blanking on her name now. Why am I blanking on her Jenna name? Coleman. Jenna Coleman. Jenna oh, Coleman. Okay, gonna... that's what her name. I thought it was out. She's hot as fuck. Is Jenna yeah. Coleman? And they had they had to tr- they had to Jenna really Coleman. That's right. Make her annoying, right? Because she was great in her in in Asylum of the Daleks. She was fucking. Asylum of the Daleks. I, I think she was great in the Snowman, Snowman as well. Snowman was great. Oh, I liked the fun. Snowman one. Yeah. She was fun, and then she turned into like this insufferable. Then she yeah she turned awful. Rich. I was like oh what's happening. And it, it kind of felt like the MCU for Doctor Who. Like, I was like, is this like women taking over like Doctor Who now? This is yeah. kind of weird. And then it happened. And I was like, I oh, think, no. I think Moffat was trying to fight it off and he ended up ushering it in. Um, so it is. Nobody liked it. They, they oh, like, Nobody we got heaven sent out of it. So. Hmm. We got a couple of good episodes out of it, right? Like the Capaldi run has some like really good episodes. Like I think uh, I gotta watch Capaldi's run because you guys have said it's really good. So I, I just is deep sh- breath, and then when um, fuck murder on the uh, the, the oh murder on the Orient Express is great. Express. Well, yeah, Mummy it's on the not- Orient Express story is great. Yeah, F- uh, flatline. Ooh. Flat line where he fights the two dimensional creatures and gives out fucking one of the best speeches at the end. So really good. clever that as well. Hmm. Oh, the great two parter with the uh, with Missy at the end of first season was yep. 
The first one was much better than the second part, but damn that that ending at the dark water was pretty awesome. That was oh, pretty water, yeah. Oh. Yeah. What was the coverage get like for you guys back then? Was it like you were finding yourselves being like, oh, this one was bad. And oh, well, this one's good, though. Oh, this one's bad again. Oh, this one's OK. <laughs> was it like <laughs> that's what it was like for me with Pica- uh, Capaldi, because hmm. like uh, he didn't he didn't like America didn't take to him very much because uh, because th- he was a throwback to what what Doctor Who was back in the classic era. Sure. And Americans were Americans wanted young, pretty people running around. I loved him. I loved him so much. I learned to love him. He was great. But it was it was very hit and miss, and that's what started doing Doctor Who in a little bit. And then instead of doing the smart thing, they did the dumb thing. And here we are. So the question remains, like, what is Russell T. Davies going to have? It is a year, well over, it's almost two years. It's a little over uh, 18 months or something like that, that till, till we get a new, you know, it's going to happen on the anniversary, 60th anniversary. That's a long way away. That's So we got one episode between now and then, and they need to hype the fucking shit out of this. And that's going to be on uh, bad wolf and Sony to do it. The BBC is terrible at hyping. They actually had a good idea for this episode. It was executed like shit though. They had a uh, audio adventure that you could go right to afterwards and, and listen to. Holy shit. Um, I was talking to George about this uh, on the phone, and they're they're salting the earth. They're salting the fucking earth on the way out. I I am telling you this right now. <clears throat> In this final episode that's coming up, Yaz and the Doctor are going to snog. Oh yay! Yeah. But think about that. Yeah, the doctor's a heterosexual male. The doctor's still so a heterosexual male. It makes sense male. that he's interested in women. <laughs> he's just wearing a woman's suit. He's just, yeah, he's oh, just wearing what? a woman's skin. That's all. It's all he's just life. crushing puss. Just it's crushing puss. He's still crushing the puss. Caddy daddy. <laughs> I love God. Daddy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle daddy. I like, I like shopping. And, I like gossip and crushing puss. I, I don't know why he doesn't do more of those. Those are so fucking good. Caddy Daddy's great. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> ah, god. Ah. I'll, show you, I'll show you guys one later if you haven't seen it. It's fucking great. <laughs> oh my do god! The, do the Melissa Milano one. Alyssa Milano. One. <laughs> you guys, the libs of TikTok posted a meme of you guys. No, it's, oh, I, no it's I don't not. think it's libs of TikTok. <laughs> it's probably uh, everybody's taking their their name right now. Oh, yeah. is, that what, is that what's it. going on? They yeah. changed. So, uh, so but it's still I, funny. It is. Uh, it's it's uh, every. I think Jeremy from the quartering. I don't know if he started yeah. it or not, but like everybody's doing. I am Spartacus, so they're taking the libs of TikTok. Is that what's going on? Oh, okay, I I, I just oh, okay. I, I might do it later. I might do it later. Show support. Cause uh, mm-hmm. that fucking, uh, can I? I'll just say it, cunt, who uh, came out mm-hmm. and put her name out there, went mm-hmm. to her family's house, yeah, um, uh, yeah, just straight up like, like is is threatening this woman, and and I don't love Coach Red Pill, not the biggest fan of Coach Red Pill, but, um, you know, he was reporting from, uh, uh, he's kind of re- he's kind of reinvented himself. And uh, he was in Ukraine, like reporting, like the way he saw things. You might agree with it. You might not. Uh, Daily Beast wrote an article. He's missing. Yeah, I saw that, Gary. Dude, my conspiracy mind went insane because he posted a bunch of names. too. he's like, look into this. And then he goes missing. Oh, He got caught by the government and he's been uh, whether he's been permanently silenced or not. We'll see. But, yeah, uh, no, he's been missing. It's, well, it's I mean, it's not like they haven't done the, the Ukraine has done that before. It's not, mm-hmm. you know, there's, uh, but we're there's, not going to talk about that, Gary. We don't want your channel no. to get in trouble. Well, I'm somewhat of a Ukrainian Russian expert. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. All I know is Ukraine is a small country. Yeah. Russia's, Russia's a, big, a big country. Mm-hmm. And Russia's attacked a small country. And that's not nice. It's not yeah, nice. It's and not nice. Not nice. nice. Hey, X-ray girl. Trudeau looks like he's aged a lot in the last six months. Let's see a current picture. Who is? 
Who Trudeau. Is that Trudeau? Is that uh, oh, 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 hey, oh, oh, hey, oh, I'll be here all week. Well, next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like Mahler's like, that's it for me, folks. I'm out. <laughs> Just mic drop. <laughs> I'll get back in that. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, wait, has he though? Like, what, I haven't even seen Trudeau his in like beard. Yeah. yeah, it's like been... mostly gray. What's going on with him? Well, he got it. fucking embarrassed when he went over to the EU, and uh, when you get called out by a German politician for authoritarianism, it's oh like, yeah, ran, that was he pretty ran good. From his own country, <laughs> no, he ran from truckers. Yep. He did. No, she was great, by the way. I was just kidding, Germany. I know we have German audience. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, like, Germany I'm... actually went less fascist. They like, you know, they got rid of their vax mandates and everything. I have a German last name, okay? <laughs> they are. It's true. Uh, hey, don't fuck with the truckers. No, the truckers were awesome. Yeah. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. And he Shout ran like a truckers. coward from them. Called them a bunch of Nazis and did all this. Oh, dear, dude. And then all of a sudden, magically, all the mandates disappeared for the most part. Mm -hmm. But it had nothing to do with the truckers. Nothing to do with them. No. They all started falling here, too. Like, simultaneously. Nothing to do with the truckers, though. Thanks, guys. We love you. Thanks, truckers. I wish I Mother could truckers. shake all your hands, give you high fives, fist bumps. Uh, yeah, fuck Trudeau. Um, yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, we got uh, the art of the real for twenty five dollars. Have you seen the Call Me Chato channel on YouTube? Has anybody heard of Call Me Chato channel on YouTube? I have not. No, I have not. I'll check it out. Don't, don't follow Call Me channels. Did you say Call Me channel? It said Chato. Call Chito. me Chato. Call no, I thought you said Commie Channel called Call oh, Me Chato. Oh my God. No, I didn't say Commie. Oh. <laughs> how, would I, how would I steer anybody to a Commie Channel? Like, I know that's what I was thinking. It was a weird thing to say. I don't follow Commie Channel. <laughs> Communism is for people who are retarded. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What he said. Uh, yeah. So there's a big audience, is what you're saying. Big. Oh, yes. Yeah. Is it me or does Streamlabs make it donating annoying? It, it can be. I mean, it depends if there's the PayPal version of it and the credit card. That's that's what I'm I am now uh, supporting my friends who have it through Streamlabs because uh, it circumvents Mama Susan. Mm -hmm. They get more more cash. Uh, thank you, though. Art of the Real. I will check, I'll check it out. Like, what kind of a channel is it? I want cash now. Can you, can you say what it's called again? I'm going to look look it Call up. Me. The communist channel. The commie it. channel. Commie channel. <laughs> uh, it's got one subscriber. Uh, and that'll be Lennon. No, it's it's uh, it's a guy named. Uh, Call me Tato. Link in chat. He's on Twitch. He likes nuggies. He steals videos. Oh, He's no. a Wait a minute. <laughs> I know that man. Big communist. Yeah, yeah. Oh Is yes, it... I have heard of this guy. I've heard he's great. Do you I see this um, guy's really good? I saw him got in trouble recently because his friends found out he bought a shirt that was one thousand dollars. What? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even know you could spend that much yeah. on that. That's like that's how much I spend on shirts in my lifetime, practically. <laughs> I <laughs> it's look, okay, he needs it. He also went to Coachella at a private yeah. uh, airplane. It's just like Jesus Christ, man. He's a cut. He's a cut. He's a. It's a man of people. Um, he's I know. A, how dare you? It's a network. It's a former network executive. He's emailed me. Yes, yes, I have heard of Call Me Chato. I'm subscribed to him, and I didn't even know it. Me too. I'm like, what? Uh, <laughs> but he, yeah, he emailed me. He emailed me. We're probably gonna have him on eventually. I think. Really good. He's got very good insight. Very good insight. Um, yeah, Hassan, dude, a thousand dollars on a shirt. I, I shit you not. Like, <laughs> like the like the Captain America like worker shirts. I bought I bought those twenty years ago. 
I can't remember the last time I bought a new shirt. I think Danny Elfman at the Danny Elfman concert. I bought an Elfman shirt. That was basically an Oingo Boingo shirt. I think that was the last shirt I bought in like three years. Uh, yeah, I just I, I buy shirts. I don't have grow them. So does your wife buy you shirts? Because I buy my husband. I got, shirts I got. Yeah. Send, send hook. Oh, that green. Well, the green shirt I was wearing, you'll see in my next video. Somebody sent me that. That one's awesome. So I've been getting sent T-shirts and that's basically my new T-shirts. I got a damn good Q1, too. I got to wear. I just get sent anthrax. I just I got doing it wrong. This, I that thing is dope, that Gary. The one you're mm. wearing. The baseball jersey. This thing Yeah, is, it's freaking dope. I've been waiting for an excuse to wear this again. It's baseball season. So and I'm secretly watching the Padres. So. Oh.